wait a minute. You were gonna prison. The following is a special presentation of Raycom Sports, home to regional college football and basketball. It's high noon in the ACC, and today, two Atlantic Division foes get ready to go at it. Wake Forest has stood in Maryland's way the last two years. The Terrapins have tried to change their fortunes this afternoon. Live from Chevy Chase Bank Field at Bird Stadium in College Park, Maryland, Raycom Sports presents ACC football. The Wake Forest Demon Deacons get ready to challenge the Maryland Terrapins. Good afternoon, everybody. We've put together two of the most mature teams in the ACC this afternoon. Both are loaded with senior talent. The Maryland Terrapins are hoping that their experience will pull them out of a hole they got into two weeks ago in a head-shaking loss to Virginia. In the meantime, the Wake Forest seniors have accomplished much. 28 and 15 in their reign at Winston-Salem, and of course, they've won already an ACC championship. Today, they meet, and the Atlantic Division lead is at stake. Joining me on the telecast today, Rick Doc Walker. And Doc, when we talk about Maryland, they lead the ACC in player conferences and meetings in the last two weeks. What will that turn out to be for the Terrapins? Well, I've been on both sides of the ball. We've had some team meetings that have worked out pretty good, and others have not worked out so good. they got to play. All that talk is what it is. It's all about talk. All you got to do is remember a year ago when the Terrapins could have been up by 30-3 to at Wake. They failed. Wake came back and left them with the worst loss of their career. That's right. One in overtime. And, of course, Wake Forest relies more this year on their defense than ever before because that's where most of their experience lies. No doubt about it. Coach Lambert has a whack of pack of wild animals on defense for the Demon Deacons. They get after you. Curry there. He's a linchpin. Robinson up front leading that defensive line. They get after you on every level. I mean, these guys come up there once again. Curry, who would definitely be a sure round first round NFL pick. Aaron Curry is a beast. And you'll see, and we'll talk about him a lot today. He makes it all happen. But again, Robinson up front, and of course, the secondary, they may have one of the best corners in football. That's right. Alfonso Smith, they held Florida State with seven turnovers and held Clemson down to 23 yards total rushing. Let's take a look at our Toyota keys to the game. For Wake Forest, it's get scores in the red zone. No doubt about it. When Swank possibly out of this ball game for the Demon Deacons, that means there's no gimmies at 40 yard, 50 yard field goals. They've got to be more proficient in the red zone. And of course, for Maryland, it's protect the edge. Because that's where Wake Forest will want to play offensive. Boy, they're going to come after you. And they made some changes on the offensive line for the Maryland Terrapins. They hope to get better production by maybe some of the younger guys. And it comes down to that ground game. If Maryland can run, they got a chance to win this. Both teams want to improve their efficiency on the ground this afternoon. Wake Forest only 99 yards a game, second to last in the ACC. The Terrapins and the Deacons, when they meet, wild things happen. And we'll have it all coming your way with ACC football from Raycom Sports, the Terrapins and the Deacons will have the lineups, and Mike Hogwood will join us right after this.
Whatever you're working on, Advance will help you keep the wheels turning. Meet Ruby Tuesday's new mini trio. Turkey, beef, and our fresh new crab cake mini, all in one plate. It's the newest addition to our handcrafted burgers that start at $6.99. Ruby Tuesday, fresher, better. The 70s called, they want their lamb back. Taste the changes at Ruby Tuesday with our delicious mini trio and other fresh handcrafted burgers starting at $6.99. It's a brand new Tuesday. Back in the 70s? Roller disco back then. Rock in the leisure seat? Watch yourself now. <laughs> she was the queen of the rank. You are one foxy little thing. But the rest of her life, any idea how young these girls are? I am not going anywhere with you. Was spinning out of control. Oh my God. I was the DJ. You had your share of underage creepies. I'm a lover, not a killer, baby. I can't decide if you're too old for me to feed you your teeth. A new cold case at CBS Sunday. ACC football is being brought to you by Advance Auto Parts, by Chevrolet, by Geico, by Holiday Inn Express, by Ruby Tuesday, and by the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. That's what the Terrapins look like at 9.30 this morning on the walk down Turp Alley led by their head coach, Ralph Friedgen, this is how they look like just seconds ago as they take the field at Chevy Chase Bank Field at Bird Stadium here in College Park, Maryland, site of our ACC Game of the Week from Raycom Sports. Let's bring in the third member of our broadcast crew on the sidelines, Mike Hogwood. Thanks a lot, Steve. When you talk about Wake Forest, there's one guy who really leads that offense, makes it click, and that is Riley Skinner. Wake Forest coming off a win over Clemson, and after that game, head coach Jim Grove says, we got our Riley Skinner back as he led Wake Forest on a game-winning drive, one of five he's had in his career. He's got 28 career touchdown passes. He just passed Norm Steen for fifth all-time. He's among the tops all-time in every category in passing at Wake Forest. Riley Skinner is going to be a big key today for the Wake Forest Deacons. How will we do? We'll see. We're ready for kickoff. It's Maryland and Wake Forest from College Park straight ahead. Ultimate cheesy breakfast burrito, So huh? great, man, with the cheddar and the pepper jack. Yeah, you know? pepper jack sounds great. That's going to be my new nickname. It's this week's nickname. Yeah, from now on, you call me pepper jack, and I'm a pirate. Pepper jack the pirate. Yeah. Right. And you're cheddar, the kind of squeamish accountant who keeps the books for the pirate ship. Can I say no to this? There you go. There you go. You're writing character already. There you go, cheddar. Ultimate cheesy breakfast burrito. New at Sonic, a melty, meaty, tatery morning up and atom that can only be made better with one of our premium roast specialty coffees like a Java Chiller. Sometimes just getting to retirement seems impossible. That's where we come in. As one of the nation's 401k leaders, the principal offers many simple ways to plan for retirement, making it easier for you to get where you're going. The Principal Financial Group will give you an edge. Here's our offer. My client gets the house, the SUV, the dog, the health club membership, and the 401k. In exchange, Mr. Stanley keeps his golf clubs and the weed whacker. Done. We'll take it. Not a good negotiator? You don't have to be at Len Stoller Nissan. With all new Nissan Maximas for $339 a month. Murano's for $329 a month. And Ultima's for $199 a month. Right now at Len Stoller Nissan in Owings Mills. It's a better way to buy. After Congress passed the bailout, Frank Craddaville declared, we solved the crisis. We solved the crisis? Tell that to the people who are losing their jobs. 
We solved the crisis? Tell that to the people worried about their mortgage, seeing their retirement savings disappear, or struggling to pay for their kids' college. Frank Cradiville says we solved the crisis. Cradiville's clueless, liberal, and very wrong. I'm Andy Harris, and I approve this message. Finition where available by MFS Investment Management, a diverse range of products so advisors can choose what fits. Maryland won the toss as Jim Grove strolls the sideline. Both of these coaches in their eighth season, a 50 and 40 record, including an ACC championship along the way. And across the sidelines from him, good friend Ralph Friedgen. Friedgen in his eighth season at his alma mater. Maryland uh, elected to receive after winning the coin toss, and they've got the football. Right up the middle of the field, that's Torrey Smith. Wide receiver in the offense, and he gives Maryland excellent field position at the 42 after the kick by Shane Popham. Let's take a look at the Maryland offense. Darius Hayward Bay, the game breaker. Uh, Darrell Scott, leading rusher in the ACC with Jackson Williams and Gronkowski up front. It's a talented offensive line that's in transition. Uh, Edwin Williams, of course, a veteran center, fifth year senior. Four out of five starters are fifth year seniors for the Maryland Terrapins. First and ten from their own 42 yard line. Chris Turner, a quarterback. Seven step drop. The pass is complete. It's to Darius Hayward Bay. And he's in Wake Forest territory at the 49 yard line. And he's very close to a first down. There's Chris Turner. Turner's pass complete for number eight. Out of Simi Valley, California, the junior on the season. 58.4% completion rate. He's six touchdowns, six interceptions. And with that pass, gets him closer to 1,000 yards on the season. Nine yard completion. That brings up second down and one. James Franklin, the offensive coordinator, this is his dream call. So anytime you get the ball in Hayward Bay's hands early on, you've done a smart thing. Hayward Bay with 12 pass receptions and six runs. 18 touches, but they've tried to get him many more times. Darrell Scott on his first carry picks up the first down and gets to the 47-yard line. Boo Robinson on the tackle. And with that, let's bring in the Wake Forest defensive line. Matt Robinson, John Russell, Anthony Davis, along with Boo Robinson, who leads them in tackles. Aaron Curry already has an interception this season. He has five career threes brought back for touchdowns. Arnu and McClinic with him. Alfonso Smith, three away from the ACC lead in career interceptions at 17 with Vaughn Patterson and G. Passes out there to Hayward Bay. He gets two of the first three calls in this game from James Franklin down to the 39-yard line of Wake Forest where Chip Vaughn and Aaron Curry come up for the tackle. Yeah, you, in order to move the ball, every week we say this. This time, Torrey Smith, you see 82. That block right there. That's what makes it happen. Pretty good technique. Might have to put him at guard down the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's been the problem of both of these teams, Doc. Their inability to run yeah. the ball effectively. Well, we so. saw it last week at UVA and yep. Covington, and he threw his body around it. It makes a difference. Second down and one. First possession of the football game for the Maryland Terrapins. Turner will throw. Going long for Hayward Bay. There's coverage out there, and Alfonso Smith. And Turner put it up for grabs incomplete. Well, this is what I love about Smith. Because you got it, this is really the ultimate contest. If you get eight versus two, Haywood Bay versus Smith, he's the best thief, I think, in the ACC. And you want to give a receiver a shot at it. But make no mistake about it. If you put the ball up around Alfonso Smith, he may come down with it. Oh, he may. 17 in his career, including three this season. Double tight end set coming in here for the Maryland Terrapins as they put Watson in there on third and one. Scott and Jackson are the setbacks. That's Leo Dye in motion. Here comes Darrell Scott, and he's got the first down. He's at the Wake Forest 37 yard line. Alfonso Smith and John Russell in on the tackle for Wake Forest. Wasn't much there, but I like the way that Darrell took off and ran, and they were reckless abandonment. You know, you got too many backs. Looking for things to happen instead of making things happen. That time he made something happen. Well, the words that have dominated the discussion around Maryland's offensive line pad level and picking out the right landmarks, and so far, so good for the Maryland Terrapins. First and ten. To throw is Turner. The flats complete, and Leo dies. 
gets the completion down to the 23 yard line and it's going to be a pickup on the play of 14 13 yards. What will concern me now for the Demon Deacons is lack of pressure. Turner and Nas had way too much time to pick and throw. If he puts that ball up, you get a little yards after the catch. So a poor throw with no pressure. And again, these are the little things that you got to get better at. You get, you don't get opportunities to get unharmed in this conference. You got to take advantage of it. Watson in motion behind Turner on first down at the 23. Here's Darrell Scott loses the football. Maryland may pick it up. Edwin Williams picks it up inside the 15 down to the 13. Arnu batted the ball loose. Well, Arnu came in here, man, with with the club, smart football. Demon Deacons on their heels. You need a big play. And there it is right there. Knocking it out. Williams there alertly picks it up. You like guys to just fall on it. He showed you may have been a running back in his youth. <laughs> <laughs> he had to believe first that it was yeah. loose and it was his. To the 13-yard line, the play actually gains 10 and brings up another first down for the Terrapins. Haywood Bay and Ronnie Tyler are split wide to the top side. Open backfield, little screen here to Smith. And Torrey Smith gets it down to about the 11, maybe the 10 yard line, a gain of three. Antonio Wilson made the stop. Wilson, well, great pursuit. Again, you, you, you look at Wake Forest, you go right now, they almost had a play. It hadn't been a good start for them. But you one good big play away from somebody to get you out of a jam. Because if you're on defense now, you say, worst we can give up is three. But we do not want to get the Terrapins in the end zone. Now they're in the red zone now inside the 10 at the nine yard line. Second down and about seven to go. They can get a first down at the three. Pitch comes to Scott. He wants to throw. Has a man open. That's Hayward Bay for the touchdown. To the depths of the playbook, James Franklin, the offensive coordinator, goes and pulls out a running back pass from Darrell Scott to Darius Haywood Bay. Got to give Coach Franklin credit on this. Great call. Scott hung him up. Haywood stretches, makes the catch. You know you're going to get hit. Big play for the Turtles. Haywood Bay was a featured back on that drive with three catches, including the touchdown. Egakeza for the kick after it is good. And Maryland, in eight plays, marches downfield and uses trickery to get into the end zone. The first ever touchdown pass by Darrell Scott. He finds a sure target in Darius Haywood Bay. It's a 10 yard hookup for score, and Maryland's on top. This ACC moment is presented by Geico. It was a career half for Virginia's Cedric Pierman last weekend against East Carolina. In the span of only five minutes, the senior broke off touchdown runs of 79 and 60 yards, twice besting his previous career long of 57 yards. Pierman's big first half helped the Cavaliers build a 28-6 lead as they went on to beat the Pirates 35-20. This ACC moment is presented by Geico. Ah, welcome, Brooke Shields. What's on your mind? Well, there's an epidemic sweeping our nation. Really? Women everywhere are having babies just to get the new Volkswagen Rutan. Take this couple. Christine here is so seduced by German engineering, she's having a baby just to get it. That's not why we're having a baby. The strange man she barely knows. I'm her husband. Don't be like Christine. Have a baby for love, not for German engineering. Wait, we're standing right here. Learn what I'm doing to help at rutanboom.org. We should have seen this coming. It's time to get more out of your tires. It's time to get Cooper. Because now during Cooper's national Take the Money and Ride event, you'll not only get unbeatable performance, you'll get a $50 rebate by mail when you buy four qualifying Cooper tires. Cooper's Take the Money and Ride event. Get your rebate form and all the details at a participating Cooper dealer or at coopertire.com. But do it today. The road and your $50 rebate are waiting. No work, no worries. Finally here. Yep. Wouldn't miss this for the world. It's what you've been waiting for. Quad Fair is here. Your chance to score the lowest financing and best deals of the year on Suzuki's full line of King Quad and Sport ATVs. Plus, enter the Quad Fair sweepstakes to win big. Make tracks to your Suzuki dealer today. Sure is pretty out here.
Right now at Bojangles, you can feed a family of four for less than $4 a person with our tailgate special. SK Menswear is the official wardrobe provider for our ACC football broadcast team. SK Menswear, what are you wearing? Well, Darius Hayward Bay is wearing number eight, and he scored on his third reception of that drive a nine play march, 58 yards, a nine yard touchdown reception, but it wasn't Chris Turner who threw it, it was Darrell Scott. Torrey Smith's kickoff really set it up for him. And this is going to be C.J. Washington. And he brings the ball out to the 24 yard line. Fans, get your cell phones ready. It's time for our new interactive feature called the All Tell Text of War. We want your answer to this question Which team will have more passing yards when the day is done? Text your answer, A1 or A2, to 55333. And we'll update the results later in the half. Had a lot of fun. That's going to be good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And right now, Maryland has kind of set the standard. Wake Forest this yeah, year. The ball here. No, that's true. <laughs> but this year, they're more of a mix of true. the passing game. Riley Skinner off. Operating out of the shotgun. Brings Josh Adams there. Here comes the run by Adams. And he pushes straight ahead from the 25 out to about the 27, 28 yard line. Demi Otolaja on the tackle. Josh Adams, the ball carrier, leading ball carrier at 206 yards. We're in Fred, Bolden, Brinkman, and Worcester are your starters. Jeff Griffin has the most experience on a reshuffled offensive line. Back to throw on second and three. A second and seven. It is complete. And out into the flats. He threw a start on that one. He sure did. And he got Bolden for the reception. Bojack and Philistine on the tackle. There's Riley Skinner, last of his recruiting class out of Jacksonville, Florida, the old school. 68% completion rate, seven touchdowns, four interceptions. When he does not throw an interception, Wake Forest is 15 and 1 in his career. Glaring stat when he does is 7 and 6. He had a bunch against Navy. And as a result, that's their only loss of the season. In motion, here comes the end around by Bolden. Got hit once, gets back to the line of scrimmage and pushes ahead to about the 38-yard line. Well, it's not fair to compare anyone to it to his brother, who is an absolute <laughs> cyborg in the NFL. Watch his strength. Comes over. Now half the league goes down on that. You've been hit by a good linebacker. This guy's still running. And he's 220 pounds, six foot frame, strong, and a terrific athlete and really help weight. Second down and about nine. Seven nothing, Maryland in the lead as they scored their first time down. Play action, Skinner with time. The flats complete. A little fold pattern in there to DJ Bolden, and he is close to the first down, out to about the 45 yard line. Skinner and Philistine in on the tackle. It's an eight yard game. Great catch, great run. DJ Bolden is, he put on a highlight film. Let's look at the defense of the Maryland Terrapins. Jeremy Navarro with a high motor with Mac Cross and Olaf Benny Odelaja. The uh, linebackers led by Alex Wojak with 35 tackles on the season. Moses Fuku uh, there as well. Kevin Barnes, three interceptions this year to lead the secondary, along with Wiseman, Skinner, and Allen. Third down and about a yard. Wake down by a score here early. They hand off now give inside Josh Adams and he's got the first down out to the 47 yard line. Nice game for the Deeks who keep the chains moving and Alex Wojak who whose name will call a lot. Oh this yeah. Afternoon. <laughs> yeah the jackhammer bird song and Nina and Bailey those guys on that left side again they're just solid they have great pad placement and uh, they just do a really good job of run blocking and pass blocking. Adams gets himself situated over there in the slot to the right side. Check your splits. They'll be very wide. Yeah, they wide it out. What they, they set up just for this. Here is Skinner. Calls his own number. Gets into Maryland territory to the 48-yard line. Jeremy Navarro with the tackle. Gain of about six on the play. Let's go to the sidelines and bring in Mike Hockwood. Well, you were just talking about Jeremy Navarre. He's one of the captains of this team. This defense really didn't like the 31 points they gave up against Virginia. They've had several player-only meetings, a couple of them led by Navarre, who is, you mentioned his motor. He's got a big one, and he is also the leader of that defense. Second down coming in about four. Skinner to throw, now tucks it under. And can't get away from Armstrong. Deion Armstrong was backing up Otolaja at the nose tackle situation. He's a 
Redshirt freshman from Fort Valley, Georgia. Armstrong's one of those guys we watch in the pregame warm-up who was really fired up. This is a big play because, as we know, Skinner can get you those hard yards. He can break down a defense with his legs as well as his arm. They made third down on short last time around. They're third and three this time around. Trailing 7 nothing. But they put the pressure on you on third and three. Worcester, the tight end, will be lined up outside the formation. Draw goes to Adams. Adams pushes ahead. He does not have the first down, I don't believe. Even a generous spot to the 43 and a half yard line. He needed the 43. Jeff Allen, a senior out of Woodbridge, Virginia, comes up to lay the finishing hit. It spreads you out. They force you to be disciplined. If you get out of gap, don't have gap control. That time, the jackhammer, Wojak, he kept his pads straight. He did not bite. Secured his gap, and if they save it, it'll be because Wojak's discipline. Key measurement here, Doc, because Sam Swank not playing today. Very good point. And uh, their backup punter is Shane Popham, and they are going to be short. They are short by about two feet. Mike Hogwood and I, we walked over and sit right on the bench over Wake Forest watching Jake to see if he'd work out what he would do. He did very little. He kind of had an indication that he wouldn't play. All right, Popham comes out. Danny Okendo is back deep to get the kick for the Maryland Terrapins. He's got an average of 34.6. Doesn't need to put much leg into this one as the line of scrimmage is the 43 of Maryland. Just wants to drop it inside the 20 or possibly, preferably inside the 10. It's a big stop for the Turtles. Yes, it is. It truly is because this offense is dynamic. Well, you know, Chris Kosh, defensive coordinator, says they do a lot of key busters. Mm -hmm. you know, makes you look around, wonder where you are, where your buddies are. Oh, nice kick by Popham, and it's going to go dead. Can they get it? Looks like they haven't given the touchback sign. They're going to get it at the two. What a kick by Shane Popham. It's a 41-yard kick. I'm saying it here. Carey Major. Now they say it's going to be a touchback. Back, yeah. Yep. You know, you work on those things, and all special team coaches across the country spend a lot of time on that. Boy, it can make a big difference. Well, they're at the 20, leading 7 0. Maryland with the ball back after this word from your local ACC station. Home of the famous $5 footlong. Like our fresh toasted black forest ham with cheese and our newest $5 footlong, the fresh delicious chicken pizziola. $5 footlongs all day, every day. For many men, an interview suit is a first step toward a second chance. Donate your gently used professional clothing during the Men's Warehouse National Suit Drive and receive a 10% discount toward your next purchase. I guarantee it. So with Fios, I get the best picture quality, the fastest internet, HBO and Cinemax free for 30 days, and a DVR free for a year. Yes, 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 and yes. Nice. What about you? We've got um, stuff also that's good. Cable just can't compare to Fios. When Verizon brings fiber optic straight to your home, you get razor sharp TV picture, the fastest internet, and crystal clear phone service. All for just $99.99 a month with a one year agreement. Call 1 877 795 6755 before October 31st and get a multi room DVR free for a year, plus HBO and Cinemax free for 30 days. With Fios, you get the best HD experience, best HD sports, plus over 11,000 titles on demand per month. And Fios Internet gives you ridiculously fast speeds. To get the only TV, internet, and phone package that comes with a multi-room DVR free for a year, plus HBO and Cinemax free for 30 days, you must call before October 31st. Wait any longer and you'll miss out on this amazing offer. This is Fios. This is big. If you're struggling with addiction and the 12 steps aren't for you, there is another answer. Bel Air Center for Addictions offers confidential addiction treatment in the privacy of a doctor's office. WJZ exclusive, the Ravens at the Dolphins Sunday. ACC football brought to you in part by Chevrolet. Maryland Terrapins get their second possession of the ball after a key defensive stop, first and ten at their own 20 yard line. Leading this game seven to nothing. Turner has had time to throw. Steps up. And will go down. This time, his decision to run 
gets him hit. Gotta get caught in between on that one. Hit the last drive. Darius Hayward Bay played a big part in it. Caught those two passes. The drive almost exploded on this Darrell Scott fumble. Edward Williams got on it. Next play, Darrell Scott touchdown pass to Darius Hayward Bay. And there's nine plays, 58 yards. Turner was five for six. Scott, though, was one for one. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Help to have a guy that can go up and get those passes. Second down. And about six. Double wing formation by the Turks. Haven't seen that one. A little cluster. Time to spread them out. And the pass is complete. Gronkowski, the tight end, pulls it down. And it's going to be good for a first down at the 31 yard line. It's a game of eight and it's six out of seven passes now for Turner. Yeah, Dan, he gives a little bump and then he stops. You get a bump and stop. Linebacker gets outside. And Big Dan, he's had a high ankle sprain. So he's kind of got off to a slow start. Had a great spring and now you're starting to see some of the residual effects of this kid's talent. About two touchdown passes already this season. First and 10 from the 31. And off is Muck in the back. Turner may get it. I think that's Deacon. This may be Wake Forest this time. It is. Ron Cherry signals that the Deacons have picked up the turnover. Second time that Darrell Scott has mishandled the football. Arnu at the bottom of that pile. Wake Forest happy they got it. Arnu. Well, Arnu was there on the first one and knocked one away. And let's see, it's a little lag draw right on the hip. Knocks it back. I mean, Turner could really be hurt on that. A quarterback extending the arm. Arnu going after it, man, like a dog going after a bowl with a little meat on it. <laughs> You're getting after it. you got to be aggressive in this. Beautiful opportunity for the Demon Deacons. Arnu with a fumble recovery. There it is right there. It looks like Turner had it initially, but then Arnu jumped over his back. First and 10, Wake Forest at the Maryland 25. Holding in motion, inside handoff. This is Pendergrass. Pendergrass, the redshirt freshman from Royal Palm Beach, Florida. Make up about a yard. Travis Ivy, who backs up Jeremy Navarre at that defensive tackle spot with the tackle. Turnover margin, number eight. They are seventh in the NCAA. Of course, North Carolina sits atop that turnover margin and this time he gets to try to turn it into a score Tar Heels are ridiculous they are. what they're doing I mean they just dare you to put a ball up in the air they get good pressure on the quarterback and some ball hawks in that back uh, back five seven and eight remember Sam Swank not available today so this is not an automatic field goal here Skinner pass incomplete intended for DJ Bolden that's rare that is rare. I like this kid. This kid does so much for this offense. Durable, talented, intelligent young man who uh, big, big sign for him. Really, yeah. I mean, his brother is a freak of nature. <laughs> I'm telling you what, you watch the Arizona Cardinals. He's injured now. Hopefully, he'll get back. He's supposed be to be. They to. got an open yeah. week this week, and then, then next yeah. week he should be back. See, so get get Anquan back on the field. I love watching that kid work. You don't realize how big he is. Look at the, get up on it. Look at the quarterbacks giving the signal. One of them is giving the real signal of the play. The other two. Good you luck. gotta guess which one. Good luck figuring out who the hot guy uh, is. Third and eight. Skinner with time. Passes complete. No. No. Missed it. And that was Ben Worcester, the tight end. Passed too low as the pocket was starting to squeeze in. Another rarity in ACC football. Loaded with outstanding tight ends. That ball's a little low. He just couldn't get his hands positioned for it properly. All right, Shane Popham comes on to kick out of Ryan McManus's hole. Popham, two for four. His longest is 42, or 32, actually. It's a 41-yard field goal. Kick is up, and it's going to be no good. The specter of Sam Swank's absence hangs over Wake Forest as Jim Grove's team misses the field goal and can't take advantage of the fumble in Maryland territory. Yeah. Enormous pressure on Popham. He's going to have to be able to make that field goal for Wake to be successful. Under four to play in the first. Maryland up seven. Meet Ruby Tuesday's new mini trio. 
turkey, beef, and our fresh new crab cake mini, all in one plate. It's the newest addition to our handcrafted burgers that start at $6.99. Ruby Tuesday, fresher, better. The 70s called, they want their lamp back. Taste the changes at Ruby Tuesday with our delicious mini trio and other fresh handcrafted burgers starting at $6.99. It's a brand new Tuesday. Whatever you're working on, Advance will help you keep the wheels turning. This place is great. Yeah. Oh, see what I see? Oh. Yeah, we're gonna send her a plate of bacon. Bacon? Mm. Oh, it's a little too aggressive. Let's send her a cheese omelet. No, an English muffin, it's more proper. What about a hot cinnamon roll? Cinnamon roll? Well, that's something you send your sister. I'm gonna send her some bacon. Mm. Compliments of those guys. Oh, yogurt. Check out the hot bar in town, the Holiday Inn Express Hot Breakfast Bar. See, you guys don't know anything about women. They say that the path chosen today prepares leaders for tomorrow. So I chose academics, excellence, and a diverse culture. My path was clear. I am a graduate of Morgan State University. Did you know that Morgan State University has educated more than half of the African-American engineers, educators, and healthcare professionals in Maryland? Captioning for today's telecast is provided by Bojangles. You gotta want to need to get a habit. Bojangles. First and ten for Maryland. They have held at their own 23-yard line after giving up a fumble. Two yards upfield. Meggett with the call this time, replacing Darrell Scott. He hits the corner and gets the first down. Well, that's a big run. It's, it is hard to get around a good football team because they good set. And Gronkowski, that was a monster block. You talk about a hook. Boy, he has some shrimp on that one because that's a big time hook block for a tight end. And you're going against guys like Matt Robinson on the edge, those defensive ends, Curry and McClinton. These are good football players. Of course, his father, Dave Meggett, played football for the New York Giants. So Meggett is on in place of Scott here on the third possession. The pass to the flats is complete. There is Haywood Bay marked out of bounds at the 40 yard line. It'll be a gain of about five. Driven out of bounds by Alfonso Smith. Bay is caught now four balls in this game. Tell you what, I'd be a nervous wreck every time I threw it that way. And there's Sam Swank. 41 yard field goals automatic for him one day doc and I saw this kid kick 350 yarders at NC State but it's not an automatic yet for Shane Popham who missed the 41 yarder just a few minutes ago swank with an injured quad did not kick at all this week did a pooch kick and then parked it for the day yeah. here in pre pregame warm up quite a weapon you have to let him heal second down and five pitch now comes to Megan. Megan gets the first down and he's into late territory. Gets it down to the 47 yard line. Marked by John Russell, the junior from Jacksonville, Florida. It's another 12 yard gain for the Maryland Terrapins. Yeah, Anthony Davis and John Russell, man, are very difficult to move. These guys getting their cost a great block point of attack. See, he did his job. Davis did his job, created the pile, make it good vision. They're getting an excellent job today by Gronkowski on the edge, receivers blocking. There you see Burley. I mean, that's a team effort. You don't get outside a good football team without a lot of help. Maybe those players only meetings helped. The underclassmen had one, the seniors did. Oh, nice pass. Darius Haywood Bay and the most dynamic three yards you'll ever see. Yeah, Fumble the football. I'll tell you what, it's still frightening. I, I give him courage. I give him a lot of credit. Even though Alfonso Smith was on the near side, I'd be I'd have to double check. Where is two before I threw? Five catches, 35 yards. Chip Vaughn made the finishing tackle on Darius Haywood Bay. Let's watch this again. This looks like a traffic jam out here. He was tackled as he caught the football. Yeah. Caught down. See, there's Curry all the way from the other side of the field. That's why this kid is a beast. Second down and nine. 
They mark it only a one yard gain. Before it wasn't a dynamic. <laughs> Handoff make it on the draw. Folds over two players. He did not over Chance McClinic. Vaughn made the final tackle, but Gavin Maggot is uh, getting it done. True freshman from Clinton, Maryland. He runs with attitude. He also runs like he doesn't want to come out of the game. You know, some guys run, they earn time by how they play. And it's not just predetermined. And that kid, I like that. I like what he, I like what I see. Third down and three. Terrapins up 7-0, have the ball in their third possession. In wing territory at the 42. Chris Turner. Back to throw, sets up, and is incomplete. A little behind his intended receiver. That was Meggett coming out of the backfield. Get some pressure, too. Wake found a way to get to get in that throwing lane. Let's take a look at our accurate scoreboard. You see scores from around the country in the Big Ten, Purdue leading Northwestern. Iowa has the lead over Wisconsin. Connecticut and Rutgers are tied by a pair of field goals, and Georgia Tech leading Clemson. Near the end of the first quarter at Death Valley. You sound surprised. I'm a little. Kick goes out of bounds on the punt by Travis Baltz. Really? One of the leading kickers at 42 points, uh, 42 yards a game. Yeah, I Has am Georgia a little Tech, bit. I don't think they've trailed the game we've been in. No. I mean, this is legit. Well, this is a legit opponent, too. Our Chevrolet Stars of the Week of the Conference, Offensive Back of the Week. We saw him last week, Cedric Pierman. Dynamic, 173 yards, two touchdown runs, one of 79, the other of 60. His defensive teammate, Matt Conrath, a redshirt freshman, the defensive end, sack of his sack forced an East Carolina fumble and turned into a touchdown. And East Carolina lost to Virginia 35 to 20. Conrath, good and young. There's Josh Adams falls ahead, and that's Wake Forest's best running play of the day. It's going to be a five yard gain out to the 21 yard line. Remember when Coach Grove told us he was playing the 2006 season with 2007 players and he came up and won it? Yeah. We've got another batch of young puppies that are about to come out again. They're big, they're young, and they, they play. They got three red shirt, uh, three true freshmen. That's right. They in the play. 2D yep. on defense. Second down and four. And off Adams. Adams. Nice Lows piece. off a hole to the left side, and he went right off the tail of Joe Birdsong and got himself some extra yardage and close to the first down. Neenan is well. Good piece of running. Maryland is stout in this. And hey, you watch this. See the lane will open up right there. Boy, that's a good piece of running. Runs right between it. That's one of those plays you look at and you say, well, both sides did a pretty good job, but the offense had to crease, and that's where those splits, once again, those wide splits, play, pay dividends. Uh, hey there, ACC fans. Come see the new Ruby Tuesday and taste the delicious handcrafted burgers starting at $5.99 all day, every day. We've come to the end of the first quarter of play. The Maryland Terrapins use some trickery. Darrell Scott gets the big touchdown pass to Darius Haywood Bay in the end zone. That's our only score here in this game. The Maryland Terrapins leading Wake Forest after one, 7-0. People come to E-Trade to trade stocks. But they can also trade stocks in six global markets, even China. They can earn yields that are way higher than the national average. Transfer funds in and out with a click. Trade stocks with E-Trade Mobile Pro on their BlackBerry smartphones. And have all their accounts conveniently linked, all on one page. No wonder there's a thousand new accounts a day at E-Trade. It just feels like a million dollar vacation. Now more than ever, it's important to know that Alabama's Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail is a huge bargain. In fact, Golf Digest named the trail the number one value in the country. This fall, play three days of unlimited golf for just $195. Our incredible fall special will make you feel like a million bucks without spending much green. Call 800-949-4444 or visit rtjgolf.com to book your fall getaway. All right, sports fans, it's time to find Geico's ultimate fan. Tonight's winner will receive Geico t-shirts, hats, and an upgrade to courtside seats, and could star in a real Geico commercial. Let's see who it's going to be. It looks like we have a winner. Yes, we do, folks. How about...
about that, congratulations. And remember, saving money at Geico.com, so easy a caveman can do it. BMW of Towson and BMW of Bel Air's year-end sale starts now. Right now, drive an 08 528i for just $449 a month. At BMW of Towson and Bel Air, you'll find Baltimore's largest new and certified pre-owned BMW inventory. Every vehicle available for immediate delivery at substantial year-end savings. New BMWs with financing as low as 0.9%. Our biggest savings event of the year starts now. BMW of Towson and BMW of Bel Air. Underway here in the second quarter, just underway. Steve Martin here, Rick Doc Walker, Mike Hogwood, College Park. Beautiful day. Wake Forest with the ball down 7 0. Riley Skinner scrambles out of a tackle. Gets to the sidelines, fires a pass complete to DJ Bolden, and they're going to mark him out at the 40 yard line. It's a 14 yard gain, and all from the feet of Riley Skinner. They're just invaluable, and that's why every coach in the country tries to get one. If I'm not mistaken, Foku comes in here who is a terrific linebacker. He runs out of his grasp, shows you legs, shows you strength, and then completes a pass for yeah. a game. <laughs> Baller. Amazing. Riley Skinner, junior out of Jacksonville, Florida. Josh Adams comes back into the backfield now on first and ten. Play action, pass out into the flats. It is complete. It's to Rich Belton. Belton is fullback, fifth-year senior from Chapel Hill. And are they saying incomplete? Well, they're scheming you. I, uh, yeah, I, don't, I think he may have stepped out on this. Let's take another look at it. Yep. Yeah, he did yep. step out. Great camera work. For our guys ate so much last night at the hotel, I didn't think they'd be able to make work today. Oh, I'm telling you. Never seen so much food on the table at one time. <laughs> well, well-fed, good pictures. We know the secret now. Second down and ten. We got a whistle in our first stoppage of the day. And let's see. Ron Cherry the previous play is on the review. All right, they're going to review the previous play to see if indeed Belton was out of bounds. But our replay shows that he was. Yeah, showed he was out. That he put his foot down. He was in the air when he caught it. That's it. And this is a booth review. It's not a challenge. Oh, oh, well, that back foot was down. Back foot was down. They may, they may be turning this. This may be a, re, this may be, yeah. An Jump overturn. To conclusions. Yep. He's only got one. Not the National Football League. This is going to be. Let's take a look. Yeah, can't well, the official uh, yeah. Ron is in the way on that one. You cannot see, yeah. but but uh, the first replay that we showed, one was in. Be interesting. There haven't been many overturned this year. And we'll Watch take it again. Look at it. Watch the back foot Goes upon back, reception catch. down in. Well, that's tough. That's tough, but uh, you need just one in. I'm sure glad Ron football. has to make that call. Very difficult call to make. Unlike the NFL, he has to re rely on upstairs. Yep. After review, the ball was determined to be caught at the plus 49. Merlin's has a reception, first down. All right. Wake Forest has a first down. Very few have been overturned yeah. this year, but that's one of them. The overturn rate is about 20%. And uh, they're going to move the football up to the 49 yard line of Maryland, and it's going to be first down. So the review works. What you like about this if you wake force is that quiet stadium you've basically taken the first hit and about to swing the tie. And that's a key call in it. Here comes the end around it's going to be Bolden. And he hits that pocket of blockers over there at the 45 yard line. Wow. Skinner. Yes. <laughs> Bringing it. Will Jack in on the tackle. Time for our progress energy progress report. Look at first quarter stats. The stat we're going to be looking at all game is which team can run the ball better. Mm -hmm. And of course, the turnovers would be an interception because if, if Riley throws one, you know, there's a huge swing in terms of uh, success for the Demon Deacons. Second down now coming and six after the four yard game. 
on the end around to Bolden their second of that sort today here comes the screen it comes out to Bolden gathers his feet gets a little steam and pushes deeper into Maryland territory to the 32 there's a flag down on the play and a 13 yard gain Moses Foku on the tackle. Let's see what the penalty is going to be. Had two blocks, the fullback. And it's going to be against Wake Forest, blocking the back. Says Ron Cherry, and let's see where they mark this one off. And this will call back that play essentially. Blocking the back, 61, offense. That's a 10-yard penalty. Still second down. So market has a gain of about four brings up second and two. Let's go to the sidelines and Mike Hogwood. Well you saw Riley Skinner's feet a moment ago on that pass completion talking to the defensive coaches at Maryland. They say it's almost like he has a third eye the way he can sense the pressure and use those quick feet to get out of it. Second down coming at about three. Skinner all alone in the backfield now brings Adams back to his right side. They've done that several times today. He'll scamper out of there and get some positive yardage, although it'll be short of the first down. Jeremy Navarre and Dion Armstrong in on the tackle now for the Maryland Terrapins. Well, Maryland has been looking and need someone to step up, help Navarre. Armstrong may be that guy today. Fuka, they've had pressure. Now, his escapability has been a plus, but they're getting some pressure. Third down pass knocked away by Kenny Tate. Man, that could have been that house. The former DeMatha Stag, terrific athlete, who's really going to earn himself a lot of playing time here in this program. Let's take a look at it and see what, he's, what, what he reads. Play action. Skinner looks back. Second choice for that. Yeah, that should have probably been Gate. All the way to the gate with a score. Tate defending on the play. He'll go back and catch the punt of Shane Popham. Put a 41-yarder 41, 41 up the first time that he punted the ball. Last scrimmage of 41 in Maryland. High snap. Poppin gets just what the doctor ordered here. And they let it go. This time Wake defending, and it'll be right out at the one yard line. A 40 yard kick carry major That's downs. Good coverage. It. Little thing. Poppin earns his, earns his meal there. Game of field position here. You see it fall inside the 10, and Major makes sure it doesn't go into the end zone this time. If you're going to eat $5, shouldn't you get your money's worth? Mm. Now, Quiznos has six delicious large deli favorite sandwiches for only $5 each. All toasted to perfection. Try the new $5 large primo meatball today. Toasted, melted, delicious. Mmm, Quiznos. Love what you eat. Precision is power. Introducing the all-new TL, the most powerful Acura ever built. A new day is coming, and new ways to meet our area's growing energy needs. Because Progress Energy is using innovative and environmentally responsible solutions, including solar power, alternative energy like eGrass, and energy-saving efficiency programs for clean, reliable, affordable power and a future that's always bright. Progress Energy, looking at power in a new light. Steel and your local steel dealers say bring on the season. We're ready, ready for falling leaves with steel blowers. Blowers like the BG55, now just $149.95. Ready to cut firewood and cut high heating bills with the Steel MS170. It's loaded with features found on professional chainsaws. Now it's just $179.95. Steel, premium brand, affordable price, and available exclusively at your local servicing steel dealer. Find one near you at SteelUSA.com. Today's game is brought to you by Altel, the official wireless partners of fans. Well, Shane Popham kicked him deep. 
And Maryland now lies 99 yards away from the end zone. Darrell Scott back in the backfield. He's fumbled twice today. Turner to throw. The pass complete. And out of bounds steps Torrey Smith at the five-yard line. It's a four-yard game. Smith with the second reception of the day. Highly productive redshirt freshman. Here again, you get back. Good pass, bro. Bruce Campbell at the left tackle. Good catch. But again, if you catch and turn, that's a 10-yard game. But you got to come back to the ball, and the ball throws you off course. That's not what you're looking for. Second down and six. After the four-yard game. Tough yards in here. Here's Darrell Scott, and he's hanging on to the football at the five-yard line. Not much of a gain, and coming up for the tackle is going to be Haynes, Hunter Haynes. Back up Will Linebacker out of uh, Pontevedra, Florida. Wake Forest has great success in Florida recruiting. Riley Skinner, one of those players. Oh, yeah. John Russell is in that defensive line, went for the same high school. Hunter Haynes is uh, from nearby Pontevedra. Third down coming in about five. Turner. And the thief, Smith, you know, he's a pretty good blitzer as well. He's teasing. Turner in his own end zone, hit as he's thrown. Okendo completed the 10, gets the first down, and he's after the 16 yard line. Gutsy catch by Okendo, tackled by Chip Vaughn and Stanley Arnoux. Patience by Turner. This is big time. He has to know it's coming. He stood in there, he did not flinch. He waited, balls right on the team, catch and turn. When you can catch and turn, then you can pick up extra yardage, and playmakers can become playmakers. The third down conversion of 10 yards on the play. Brings up first and 10 out to the 16 yard line. Allen fighting from their own one. Turner handoff Scott. Scott hit initially and then charges ahead. Haynes again put the initial hit on him, but not before he got out to the 21 yard line. It'd be a gain of five, and Chip Vaughn has the final tackle. I'll tell you what, Bruce Campbell, 74 and left tackle. There are a few humans as big as this kid, <laughs> and he gets the job done. But that's a strong run. See, that's how Megan was running, running with attitude. He got an injury down on the field. And this is going to be Brandon G. G. Player. Yep, he is the cornerback. Over on the boundary side from Fayetteville, North Carolina. It was G a year ago that on a reverse caught Haywood Bay, caught up with, let me preface that, uh, caught up with him, thrown the three yard line. Yeah. The end, next play, interception, Alfonso Smith. To the house. If Maryland scores, it's 30 to 3 at that time. That's right. Yeah. Watch the bottom left. He goes into contact. Haywood Bay trying to help. And they all fall on Brandon G. He's at the bottom of that pile. Yeah, he grabs, look like he grabs, well, that's Vaughn. Looks like he grabbed the hamstring. Uh, G trotting off now under his own power. Alfonso Smith says something to him on the exit, and he'll head to the sidelines. Backing him up is Josh Bush. He's a redshirt freshman from Lexington, North Carolina. So Jim Grove without his lead kicker, and now he's, he'll check the condition of Brandon G and see if he can come back. He's, but he's down seven zip. Mm -hmm. He's got a quiet house. This fan base is sitting on their hands. And so if I'm the road team, I like where I'm at. Second down and five. Let's see if they like it after this play. Power formation right. Darrell Scott cuts back, runs into our new, fumbles the football again, picked up by Bush. And he's driven back. Question is, was he down with contact? Yeah, that, that'll be determined, but I'll tell you what. Strong run, not smart run. That is the third fumble of the day, and they say Wake Forest has picked up the loose football. Yeah, you got to know where you're at. Now, if you're plus 20 in the red zone, that's one thing. Here, you're deep in enemy territory. Now, watch the desire. Leg drive. All this, I love it. But at the end, you got to say ball security is paramount. Haywood Bay makes the tackle. Darrell Scott has popped this ball up three times, once recovered by his own team, and now for the second time, recovered by the Wake Forest team and Deacons. Wake has been given the football in Maryland territory twice. 
First time they missed a 41 yard field goal. Skinner upfield looking for six, does not get it. Good uh, pressure by Odalaja. He was looking for Marshall Williams, the sophomore out of Durham, North Carolina. Yeah, good coverage that time, secondary. As again, it's all about pressure. You're right. Odalaja, that was physical. Maryland has been there four times today, but yet to get the sack. Second down and ten. Skinner back to throw. Short drop. Pass incomplete intended for Worcester. Covering on the play, Terrell Skinner. Okay. Let's go to the sidelines of Mike Hogwood. Well, Steve, you talked earlier about the turnover margin. Wake's already come up with two turnovers today. And I think you credited a lot of that to the fact that they've got so many redshirt seniors on defense. And Doc talked about the quiet house. This is a fired up and focused Wake Forest defense after they're giving up a touchdown on that opening drive. You also have to remember that all three fumbles by the same guy, Darrell Scott. He's got a problem today, clearly. Yeah. Third down and ten. Down seven, looking for seven. The Worcester goes through his hands and out. Boy, he had it. Again, a rarity. Flag down. You will find guys at that position don't make that play. He's hurt. Worcester hit right after the ball passed through his hand. Boy, we got great vantage point. I'm looking down. He go, he go, got him. Oh, ball right through his hand. Beautifully thrown ball. Boy, this Skinner. Gotta love this kid. Right on the money. And. Uh, the hit laid on there by Jeff Allen. Well, you got to drop the hammer. If you're not going to cover him, then you better hit him. And we got a hold coming up against Wake Forest. It's going to be on Russell Neenan, a sophomore. And it's a year of transition in that offensive line for the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. And that's why they've only rushed for an average of 99 yards. And look at Skinner stay in there and take yeah. the hit from Matadi. And then here's Jeff Allen on the hit on Ben Worcester. And Worcester will go off under his own power. Now that's five times the Terrapins have laid have laid a hand, laid a glove on the QB. Those things give you in the second half, those things pay off. But that was that could have been a potential touchdown. All right, another big kick coming up for Shane Popham. The line of uh, the, the kick will come from the 38-yard line. Actually, the 37. It'll be a 47 yard kick. His longest this season, 32. He's two for five. He's missed a 41 yarder earlier. Out of the hold of McManus. Here comes the kick, and he's going to be wide left. Well, Coach Cox, you've got to love this. Oh, because his two. defense has given him a chance once again. Both turnovers have not hurt Maryland. They got the ball when we come back after this word from your local station. Orthopedic Associates of Central Maryland has been a fixture in our community for almost 40 years. Our dedicated and caring doctors, nurses, and office staff share the common goal of delivering to you the best possible orthopedic care. Visit us at www.mdbone.com. If you're looking for the home of your dreams, consider Alex Cooper for the best values. It's the best buyer's market in 10 years. Don't miss out on this opportunity. To preview our properties, call us or visit alexcooper.com. Jones Junction is celebrating the first anniversary of Jones for a Lifetime. Here's what our customers are saying. I really like Jones for a Lifetime for the free oil changes, uh, my engine's covered for life, uh, free car washes, free manicures. I'm now here for an oil change and a free car wash, which is all part of Jones for a Lifetime. Being a single mom, I don't have any worries. I have Jones for a Lifetime. Come to Jones Junction in Bel Air, the only place to get Jones for a Lifetime. JonesJunction.com. We've met Andy Harris's friends. They're not your friends. Like the utilities, oil, and gas lobby. They gave Harris big bucks, and he voted to deregulate electricity. Utilities made record profits, but Maryland families paid millions more. Now Harris backs big tax breaks for big oil, while you pay more at the pump. Andy Harris, his friends sure aren't your friends. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. We bring opportunity to the community from Jenna Douglas College. For over 30 years, the Jenna Douglas College has served Maryland with a quality private education at a cost students can afford. With campuses in Baltimore, Annapolis, Prince George's County, Calvert County, Cambridge, and Salisbury, Maryland, we bring opportunity to the community. To the community. So 
Closed captioning for today's telecast provided by Bojangles. You've got to want to need to get a have a Bojangles. Maryland, after the missed field goal, <laughs> takes over at their own 30 yard line. I love that. It's I do too, actually. Here's Turner. Back to throw, pass complete. And it's to the fullback, Corey Jackson. Dropped by Curry, dropped by Arnu. And uh, Sam Swanks continuing to provide support for. Shane Popham, who just missed his second field goal attempt. This one a longer of 47 yards. Paul Evans, our statistician, gives us this statistical nugget. They've twice started drives in Maryland territory thanks to turnovers. They've run six plays, net yards two, and two missed field goals of 40 plus. Second down and two. Turner to throw. Pass complete. Haywood Bay. And you know, with backs dropping the ball, that may be the route that Maryland is forced to take here. Well, a little that, short yeah, route. And that throw, Steve, was off schedule. Because you, you put the ball in Hayward's hands and you give an opportunity to do something with it. I mean, this I like. It's all about rhythm. Good pass, throw, ball there, catch, and I can turn. But you're playing wakes, so and you're going to have people in your vicinity. Hayward Bay, six receptions, 40 yards, and a touchdown. And away from number two. Yeah. <laughs> the key. I ain't messing with Smith. Stay out of Alfonso Smith's neighborhood. Back to throw. Seven step drop. Turner going deep. Double covered is Haywood Bay. Almost made it against Giddy. No. Oh, he did? Oh, my goodness. Smith was covering on the play. They mark it complete. A 40 yard pass hookup. Down to the 14 yard line of Wake. Well, this is a King Kong Godzilla matchup here, baby. Haywood Bay going against Alfonso Smith, fighting for it. Watch the eye contact. He's on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he got that one. That's the juggle drill. What Time 10. And Smith is there with follow up help from Chip Vaughn. First and 10 from the 14 yard line. Gavin Meggett is behind. Here's the pitch. The Megan, here's the end around. Hayward Bay jumps over Turner. Flag on the play. Headed for the sideline and ducks out at the 12. That'll be the most dynamic two yards you'll ever see. Yeah. I, I, you gotta love what Turner tries to do. Tries to give him some help. Matt it's Robinson. the best around to get your skull crushed. <laughs> you know, when you're not used to blocking, trying to, you know, throw, throw your head in there. And it's gonna be against, it's a block below the waist. Ron Cherry to make it. Clipping number 10. Offense. <laughs> 15 yards. How often we'll do you hear that there. happen? Huh? Well, you like the fact that he tried. Yep. But you want your quarterback to stay up because you don't want any contact to the helmet. You see, you see him down at the bottom of the ground there. <laughs> Robinson probably said, Who is this? A gnat trying to get to my knees. But nevertheless, Great rebound by the Demon Deacons. Yes. Again, take take the crowd back out of it, push him back. First down and long. About 25 to go. Here comes the halfback pass. It's going to be Okendo wanting to pass, and instead getting shot down had to be by Curry. Aaron Curry. Had to be Curry. Yep. I didn't even see the number. I just saw the reaction of the body going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I said, got to be Eric Curry. Somewhere hit it. Little razzle dazzle now. Okendo makes a good decision. And there's Curry with the rejection. Let's now, have a look. let's have a look, Doc, at our accurate scoreboard. Clemson coming back. 7 3. Georgia leading Vanderbilt. 7 0 between the hedges. South Florida. With a lead on Syracuse. Here's the pass complete to Meggett. And Meggett is knocked away out of bounds. Chip on there. And also making the tackle is Michael Lockett. He backs up at nose tackle. And get out there on the flats. Meggett's no easy catch. Well, this is a pivotal part of the ball game. I mean, this is either Dam's about to burst. Or somebody's going to take control of it. Right now, nobody seems to want this. No. You know, this is for the grab. This is the the key to getting to Tampa. Giving you an opportunity. But you can't tell by the performance. Either it's too much anxiety to try too hard, or nobody just wants to make a play. How many times has Wake stood in Maryland's way? 
Beaten him two straight times. Here comes the pass down the field. It is to Hilarious Haywood Bay. And it is incomplete. Play made by Kevin Patterson. Boy, this is a great competition. You like the fact they're going for it. That's a good strike, great defense. Well, that's great camera work there, buddy. That's right in your living room. You look at it, take some courage. You got to go up to Haywood Bay, gave it an effort. But there's a Rod Dale right in his chest plate. Obi Egakeza on to kick a 40 yard field goal attempt. He missed his first five on the season. He's hit his last five. Egakeza, five of 10. Kick is up, and it is good. The Maryland Terrapins extend their lead on a 40 yard field goal from Obi Egakeza. Ralph Friedgen sees his team take advantage of a big gain of 40 yards to Hayward Bay, and Maryland's up 10 0. No work, no worries. Finally here. Yep. I wouldn't miss this for the world. It's what you've been waiting for. Quad Fair is here. Your chance to score the lowest financing and best deals of the year on Suzuki's full line of King Quad and Sport ATVs. Plus, enter the Quad Fair sweepstakes to win big. Make tracks to your Suzuki dealer today. Sure is pretty out here. When she answers, I want an extra long chili cheese cone. Extra long chili cheese and cone. And tots. Perfect. All right, ready? Uh, two supersonic cheeseburgers, please. Whoa, what did you do to me there? I call an audible. Do me a favor and just please order me an extra long chili cheese coney. Okay. okay. Cheddar peppers for my friend. Hang on a second, time. Well, take a time out. Just please order me what I want. You don't call the place. You do not call the place. Two ninety nine extra long chili cheese coney and tots. Now at Sonic. Stretch two ninety nine with an extra long coney and tots, and stop in for happy hour, half price fountain drinks and slushes every day from two to four p.m. Sometimes just getting to retirement seems impossible. That's where we come in. As one of the nation's 401k leaders, the principal offers many simple ways to plan for retirement, making it easier for you to get where you're going. The Principal Financial Group will give you an edge. You see that check engine light on your dashboard? Bring your car into Amco now. You'll get our Transcan service, an $85 value, absolutely free. MCO. For many men, an interview suit is a first step toward a second chance. Donate your gently used professional clothing during the Men's Warehouse National Suit Drive and receive a 10% discount toward your next purchase. I guarantee it. For a free medical review of your case, call the Cochran Firm. Justice for all. Well, coming up next week uh, from Raycom Sports, we'll go to Chapel Hill, a Boston College Eagles take on a North Carolina Tar Heels. Right now, we've got a good one here in College Park. The Terrapins on a 40-yard field goal, longest of the season from Obi Egakeza, take a 10-0 lead. Here's Egakeza's kickoff. Devin Brown will take it and not return it out of the end zone. It'll go back to the 20. Time to update our all tell text of war poll. We're asking you which team will have the most passing yards at the end of the day. And it looks like the Maryland Terrapins are winning handily. 16% lead over Wake Forest. And uh, you see the results as of right now. Add your voice to the vote. Text your answer A1 or A2 to 55333. And thanks for participating in all tells text of war. First and ten. Whoever came up with that, great idea. That's I think that was uh, Ray Barringer, our, uh, our producer. DBD? Yeah. That's a great idea. First and ten. Riley Skinner at the helm. Draw a play, and it's blown up. Yep. Or is it? Josh Adams hit first by Dean Matati. And Harrell also in on the stop. They were right there when he got the handle. Bill Steen blitz there at action. the bottom of the pot. It's time to Terps. You're going to see, I think, inside. Fuka comes in. He tries to put a little pressure on. Maryland's being a little more aggressive. Hitting those gaps. That's 
Second down, not much there again. Josh Adams and Wake Forest trying to grind some stuff out on the on the ground. And we talked to offensive coordinator Steve Lebotsky. And he said that's going to be vital to us today. We just haven't run the ball well, and their run pass balance is almost 50-50. Yeah, and I also had that feeling I had at Clemson. Well, Clemson had almost 200 yards on the ground. Yeah, but they didn't cash in with scores. And you start thinking you can't let, let a team hang around you. Somebody's got to put the foot to the pedal. And to gain some separation. Five wide outs, including Ben Worcester, who returns to the game for Wake Forest. On third down and seven. The throw, Skinner complete. And it's Bolden, it but he lost the football. And who's got it? Wake has said they've got it. We've got a Maryland player down at the 29 yard line. And they're motioning some, the trainer in Wes Robinson from Maryland to come in and. Look at his guys. They say complete. And that's Kevin Barnes, who's the player down. You see the catch. Wojak comes in. Yeah, Kevin, but that looks like lowers that arm, which could sometimes could be a stinger. Yeah, you gotta hope that that's just a stinger. Bolden is the brick. To 40 seconds. I'm gonna Reset the clock to 40 seconds here for Ron Cherry, and they've got the, the injured player Kevin Barnes. That could be a big loss. Yeah, he's going to come off to the sidelines, I think, for at least a couple of plays. We'll see if he comes back in. May just be be a stinger. Yeah. Barnes is a good one. He's the most, he's the leading. Well, he's a returning starter in that secondary. Fifth-year senior from Glen Burnie, Maryland. DJ Bolden, really, he's a brick. Because I'm telling you, man. People bouncing off him. He had Wojak on. This is a big play for. Yes, it is. First and ten. They got. They got to move the chains that time to the 33. Play action. Pressure coming off the corner from Covington, and he sacks Riley Skinner for a two-yard loss. Trey Covington. Well, that is just getting it done. When you go up beside Joe Birdsong, I mean, you go up against. Him. Man child at left tackle. That's just relentless pursuit. Watch it. Great angle, bottom of your screen. The chase is on. Watch the grab. He's trying to rip that ball out. Heads up play. Ray Covington still in the ball game at that rush end. Well, he saw the screen. They ran. And Skinner gets down. Alertly, there'll be no very little gain, maybe a yard. Moses Foku. Make sure that he stays down along with Alex Wojak, and this will bring up third down in about 12. You know, one thing, Steve, you can always tell players, Coach Koch, that we just saw, who pay attention to film study. At that time, Ojalaja, he read that screen, took off and discouraged Skinner. Skinner, being a veteran, did not throw it. Wiseman lines up defensively. Third down and 11. Here comes the dog. Yep. Send it backer. Skinner does not get away this time. It's Dean Matati. The left defensive end for the Maryland Terrapins comes in and makes the sack. That's his second and a half sack of the year. And Maryland with a stout defensive stand. But look at the push. I mean, that's just man on oh man. A guy making up his mind with a bull rush. Good inside move to make a play. Dave Salazzo must have threatened people this week at College Park <laughs> because I have not seen this type of effort up front. Shane Popham with a pair of 40 yard punts. Punting from his own territory for the first time today. Line drive, chance to return. Danny Okendo breaks a tackle and now is dropped at the 36 yard line. It's going to be a 36 yard punt and a one yard return. Chip Vaughn. On the tackle. Well, go to RayComSports.com for a variety of ACC football highlights and features, archive videos, sweepstakes, podcasts, and information on our ACC game of the week. RayComSports.com, your link on the web to the ACC. All kinds of stuff going on there. First and ten, Maryland from their own 36, up 10 nothing. Meggett is the setback. Turner to throw. Pass incomplete intended for Darius Haywood Bay and Alfonso Smith on him like a cheap suit. <laughs> oh boy, what a matchup. If you like seeing this, two guys as good as they make them at their positions going against battling. 
one game, you're going to be 50 50 in a good one. But Maryland has not been afraid to throw on first down. No, they game. haven't. And Darius Haywood Bay has been the target more often than not. Our first and ten line brought to you by SeedExchange.com, the official ticket exchange partner of the ACC. Second and ten. Turner looking right to throw. Pass complete to Gronkowski in a crowd at the 41 yard line. A gain of about five on the play. Tight end quarterback's best friend. Keep it drives alive. Gronkowski's really coming on. He's now healthy. That's going to help to help a great, a great deal. Brings up third down now. And a good long four yards for the Maryland Terrapins. That new left tackle, two blind guards at left tackle for the Terrapins. Well, Kendo and Williams are split wide to the left. Darius Haywood Bay to the top of your screen. Here's the pass intended for Williams and broken up. And broken up, Brandon G is back into the ball game. He left after being injured in the first, uh, late, early in the second quarter. And he's back on the field, makes a nice play, and forces a punt for Travis Ball. Yeah, and, and that's a good stop. Well, Carol's quick on that punt. And that punt team right out there. Ball's had a 26 yard placement kick first time. This time, line drive, Alfonso Smith. Yes. Changes direction and that proved to be the wrong move to the 24 yard line. 38 punt, 38 yard punt, and a four yard return. All season long, Champion Apparel will be showcasing the tradition and history of the ACC. In 2001, Maryland head coach Ralph Regan created Turp Alley, a tradition that's become part of the Terrapin game day experience. Two hours before kickoff, you're seeing today's march. The Terps start at the top of Fieldhouse Drive, then walk by the fans to the locker room, led by the cheerleaders. And the Maryland band. That's our champion. How you play. First and ten, Wake Forest at their own 25, down 10. Back to throw, Skinner passes upfield, complete to Pendergrass. That was a good catch. Big nice catch. catch, nice leading throw. It's a gain of 13. Well, the pressure by Maryland has started to dominate the game. So you got to get a big play. And that wasn't a perfectly thrown ball, but there was a receiver that went out and got it. First and 10 at the 39. Looking to the flats, the pass complete. Pendergrass again lost the football. And it's going to be Maryland ball. Boy, Skinner song got out there and covered. You're right, Skinner lost a great opportunity. He makes a great play on the ball and then gets up and relaxes for some reason. See the hit? Now he stands up. He's walking back to help. The ball's still alive. And Birdsong's there to cover it. Well, the, the smart offensive player break on the ball. Second down at 15. Wake off schedule. Pass. No. Off the pads of DJ Bolden. Brings up third down. Because Grove may just have to hug his offense at halftime. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just can bring him and just give him a hug. Tell him to calm down. We're okay. You're on the road. And they'll get it going because this is uncharacteristic of the Demon Demons. Well, you know, everybody has seen the Auburn sweep. Yeah. They've defended it. And now Steve Lebowski's charged to come up with the next big thing. Yeah. Well, Steve's got a lot of mileage on what he does. Third down and 14 for the Deacons. Trailing by 10. Skinner to sprint out. As time has Worcester complete. I don't know. That could be right on the line. Now the Maryland staff says it's incomplete. There's not a signal from the official yet. And they say now he stepped out. Yeah. But we'll roll today. Look at this work. See, you can see it right there. He's right on the line. Yeah, and it's the front foot out of bounds first. So good call yeah. by the official. Been tight a couple of these today. And you know, that's on the receiver. It's up to the receiver not to get that close to the yard line. Give your quarterback a chance. Shane Popham. End up punt again. Got a low snap. We got out of it. Daniel Kendall will let this go. 
And it bounces out of bounds at the 25 yard line. So it's a 40 yard punt by Shane Popple, who's done pretty good there. He's missed two oh, he can put it. 40 yard field goals though today, one of 41 and one of 47. As Maryland takes the field, let's head to the sidelines of Mike Hogwood. Well, we've had an intermittent wind here today, and it's really affected several times when Shane Popham is kicked on that field goal. It was brought across wind, kind of blew it left, blew that punt to the left side as well. It, may pick up in the second half may be a factor before this day is over. I'll tell you Mike it's a little windier than I think everybody well, bargained for here. Mike today. and I noticed that in pregame there was a wind blowing down a gust. On the 26 yard line with a minute five to go in the half Turner a bullet to the tuba section. Haywood Bay the intended receiver but chip on step four and step. It might be hard to sneak Haywood Bay past people at this point <laughs> in the game but it wouldn't surprise me if Coach Franklin it took the shot to Torrey Smith, you know, for a deep one. Yep. Saw that against Clemson. Yeah. No, he this kid, he's got unique skills. 14 for 20, Turner is on the day. 129 yards, no interceptions, no touchdowns. The touchdown pass thrown by Darrell Scott. Back to throw, Turner. Pass complete to Gronkowski at the Maryland 46 yard line. If Chris was under pressure, that's a big time throw. Wake sends the dogs out. Rakowski comes in, balls right on the money. Catch and turn. Big time throw by Chris Turner. 20 yards downfield, first and 10 at the 46. Turner to throw again. Pass intended for Okendo, broken up nicely by Josh Bush. Well, Bush broke on that as well. Yep. I mean, this thing, what, I, what I like, anytime you watch good defensive teams, they, make, they give up a completion, but they contest everything. Here's a look at our accurate scoreboard. See scores from around the league and around the country. Northwestern now pushing past Purdue. Iowa at the half leading Wisconsin. That's so a surprise. Surprise. Yes, it is. Our score 10 nothing Maryland leading Maryland with the ball looking for another score before halftime Turner throws complete Hayward Bay Turner's down to the 41 yard line. It's good for a first down stops the clock momentarily. Pocket kind of squeezed on Chris that time. He makes a really good throw. He found the throwing lane and put some heat on it. Our clock stops in the last two minutes. On reset of the ball after first down here's Turner. Throws over the middle in heavy traffic. Gronkowski pulls it down. Lock it in on the tackle. It's not good enough for the first down. And now Maryland will have to use one of their three timeouts as Aaron Curry comes down with the tackle. Gronkowski has been a big feature of this particular series with a big 20 yard catch that has him here, but they're still out of field goal win. Yeah, they needed to get him back involved. Bruce Campbell back at left tackle. Terrific pass blocker. I mean, he's been able to. To control his man, which is important. Well, that's what the, the big change today was putting Bruce Campbell over at left tackle, moving Scott Burley, who's been at left tackle, over to the right side. You know, Jamie Thomas, in his defense, has been not has that been 100 percent all year. Yeah. But this line was expected to come back and dominate people. Yeah. But you know what? And there's people that read the press clippings as well. They come out and fight you because they you're supposed to be good. You know, injuries have a lot to do with it. But today, yeah. I mean, nobody cares. Somebody's going to come out of this with a W, and they're going to be one step close to the Tampa. Well, Maryland so far, 56 yards on the ground, 177 yards in the air, 30 seconds left to go, two timeouts left. The ball sits at the 35 yard line of weight. From here, it's a 52 yard kick for Ega Kaza, which would be his biggest of his career. But we're not there yet. Second down and three. Turn it to throw. Steps up, going for the end zone. Hayward Bay, jump ball knocked away by Brandon G and Kevin Patterson. Double coverage on number eight. Hey, but you know what? When you have number eight, you throw it. That was a good shot. I think Chris put that ball up right where Hayward Bay would want it. He has for the jump, he has a shot. The only question is contact. Is there contact before the ball? But you take a shot at it. When you have a playmaker like Hayward Bay, you feed it. Well. Maryland's got another problem now. They need a first down. And to get their kicker some position. Here comes the swing pass to Corey Jackson. 
Jackson, the fullback, gets them just what they needed. The first down at the 31-yard line. Actually down to the 30. Aaron Curry makes the tackle. That stops the clock with 17 seconds left to go. That was a big call. And the execution was equally as, as well as the call. Well, the you know, boy, Jackson's pretty athletic. Yes, he is. He looks like a block of ice, but the guy makes plays. Seven pass catches so far this season. That's his eight. He watches his jailbreak. Turner throws it right between the arms. Jackson sure hands. Knew where to go. Had a convoy out front. Smith there giving him a chip. That was good, good execution. Timeout call by Maryland. They've got one left. 17 seconds left to play first half. Terrapins by 10, looking for more. Whatever you're working on, Advance will help you keep the wheels turning. Grace is power. Introducing the all-new TL. The most powerful Acura ever built. Ah, yes, the Geico Gecko in migration. Driven by primal instinct to help people save hundreds of dollars on their car insurance. Hey, do you see that guy over there? He's given me the eebie jeebies. Gotta be kidding me. Ooh. <laughs> what a clever creature. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It's the latest in communication. Entertainment. And exhilaration. The 300 horsepower Acura MDX. It's next generation luxury. Take advantage of attractive financing on select Acura models for well-qualified customers. First and 10, Maryland, up 10 nothing. They have 17 seconds and one timeout remaining. One, maybe two plays before they attempt the kick. Unless they get six. Pass complete to Gronkowski, and he gets out of bounds to stop the clock with 12 seconds left at the 23. It is a gain of seven. Brings up second down, but that's not the important thing. The distance between the ball and the end zone that, that is the biggest part. Though. And how that wind will affect the attempt because it's, 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 it's swirling down there. It's different. And it's, it, and it's in that end zone where it has an impact. We got a whistle. And uh, that is Ron Cherry. Now he puts the ball back in play again with 12 seconds left to go. Play clock starts. One more play before it's field goal time. And now we got a whistle and a flag. I'll tell you who, Eric Curry has been quiet. Welcome to the snap. False start. 82. Offense. That's a five and That pushes Maryland back. That could be an important five yards as it drives him back to the 30. 27-yard uh, line. Yeah, and that'll give you gray hair. Yep, that See, gives, that's a 40, that's yeah. a 44-yard kick yeah. from here. Because you, you got a young guy, redshirt freshman, who's a terrific player, but this now you got to play from the neck up. That five yards could be the difference. Second down and eight from the 28. Turn it to throw one more time. Pass is complete. Gronkowski right at the same point he got last time yeah. to the 22. So they're right back where they started. Now seven seconds left. And here comes the kicking unit as Josh Bush makes the big open field tackle on Gronkowski. Instead of being seven yards closer. Right. You're right back where you started. And Egakez is on the kick. He has a season high of 40 in his last field goal attempt here. This is a 40-yard field goal as well. 
out of the hold of Travis Balls. Tough snap, and he got it in anyway. It might have been touched. Yeah, it looked there was a pressure. It could have been touched by Chip Vaughn, but Egakaza had enough leg to kick it through for 40. That's seven straight field goals after missing his first five. I think Curry also got involved in that. Watch this again. Here's Vaughn coming in. He's going to give you the, he might the ups. Have, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, this, this one shows better. Try this angle. That ball. Oh, my was goodness. He, and you then talk about a little draw. Oh, that looks like you, man, on a oh, par four. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't look like me because it'd be in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice kick by oh, Obi Egakeza. Seven straight field goals, two today from 40. Four seconds left in this first half. The return is all we'll get before going to the locker room, but it's been an interesting first half. Yeah, it, it has, but the Demon Deacons have also been able to keep eight points off the board with their defense. Yep, they have. And, You're and, right. And suck some momentum out of Bird, which is less than impressive. But they've got they've got some problems on offense, Doc. That is true. Maryland's putting pressure when they go back to throw, and they've shut everything down tackle to tackle. That has made them unable to run. Mega Keza with a kick. This is Alex Fry. Fry. Hits to the outside, driven out of bounds by Tate. That's a 20-yard. It's a, about a 25-yard return. And that's the end of the first half here at College Park. Turner finishes the first half 20 of 28. Darius Haywood Bay with eight receptions and a touchdown. And standing by with Ralph Friedgen is our Mike Hogwood. Thanks, Steve. Ralph, it was pretty obvious first half. You guys were trying to get the ball to Hayward Bay, and uh, he came through for you on some plays. Well, you know, they're so good against the run. You know, we got we got to be able to throw the ball and make some plays. And Darius has got off to a good start, and, and Chris is doing a good job of getting the ball to him. And your defense really laying the wood to these dignities. Our defense is playing well. We got to do another 30 minutes. That's what's going to be critical. All right, that's Ralph Friedgen headed to the locker room right now, happy with his team, up 13 nothing over Wake Forest. ACC football is brought to you by Ruby Tuesday, by GMC, by Advance Auto Parts, by Sonic Drive-In, by Cooper Tires, by Acura, and by Geico. Meet Ruby Tuesday's new mini trio. Turkey, beef, and our fresh new crab cake mini, all in one plate. It's the newest addition to our handcrafted burgers that start at $6.99. Ruby Tuesday, fresher, better. The 70s called, they want their lamb back. Taste the changes at Ruby Tuesday with our delicious mini trio and other fresh handcrafted burgers starting at $6.99. It's a brand new Tuesday. I mean, hi, Don. And, and I was gonna sit down there, and then I thought, I would. Steve, aren't you the designated driver this morning? Yeah, I forgot. Here. Hey, I don't have to have a hot breakfast to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, but you're more fun when you do. <laughs> Check out the hot bar in town, the Holiday Inn Express Hot Breakfast Bar. It's time to get more out of your tires. It's time to get Cooper. Because now, during Cooper's national Take the Money and Ride event, you'll not only get unbeatable performance, you'll get a $50 rebate by mail when you buy four qualifying Cooper tires. Cooper's Take the Money and Ride event. Get your rebate form and all the details at a participating Cooper dealer or at coopertire.com. But do it today. The road and your $50 rebate are waiting. Imagine finding a need, achieving a solution. Identifying a problem. Discovering the answer. 
joining a community. Finding yourself. Wake Forest University. Imagine what you can achieve. And now we find our lovable friend on yet another adventure. Plumbing's all fixed, let's check out the rest. With Blue Dot on call, you've chosen the best. No problems here, heat works just fine. With our maintenance plan, it will every time. Replacement plans are simple too. Cooling, heating, what's best for you? The choice is clear, you know what to do. Call on Blue Dot every time. Ruby Tuesday presents the Play of the Week. Having watched a 22-point lead shrink to only eight, Virginia coach Al Groh caught East Carolina's defense completely off guard when he called for this fake field goal late in the fourth quarter. Backup quarterback and holder Scott Dakey completed the play by hitting a wide-open John Phillips for the 12-yard touchdown. And that's our Ruby Tuesday Play of the Week. Today marks the beginning of the second half of the season in ACC play, and these two teams really going at it. We're at halftime, and Maryland leads Wake Forest 13 to nothing. Mike Hogwood with you now. A couple of field goals for the Terps, and then on a little bit of a trick play, they got going early, but it was Darius Hayward Bay and his catches. You heard Ralph Regent tell me a moment ago they had this plan all along because Wake Forest is so good against the run. And Hayward Bay, a great playmaker. We saw it on the touchdown catch right there from Darrell Scott. It was a halfback pass from Darrell Scott. That put him up 7-0. Two Egakezi field goals have made it 13 to nothing here at the break. And also give some credit to that Maryland defense shutting down what has been pretty much a high-powered Wake Forest offense all year long. Of course, we mentioned this at the beginning of the second half. That takes us to our advanced auto parts road to Tampa Bay, where you see Wake Forest in control of the Atlantic. But if Maryland wins today, they now have will have a tiebreaker advantage, and then they will also be equal to Wake Forest in the Atlantic standings. In the coastal standings, Virginia Tech playing Boston College tonight. Tech will be trying to go 3-0 in the ACC. We're back with more on a beautiful day here in College Park. 13-0 our score at halftime. These are the Rutan babies. Born not for love, but desire. For German engineering in a minivan, the all-new Volkswagen Rutan. And with advances in fertility drugs, cyber adoption, even reverse vasectomies. More and more people are having babies simply for the love of German engineering. I didn't reverse anything. So please, have a baby for love, not for a Volkswagen Rutan. This sounds serious. I want to play. I don't want to get out. I want that one and that one and that one too. I don't want to go to bed yet. You haven't been spoiled like this since you were a kid. Unless, of course, you've been here before. Come back to where Old South Charm meets New South Luxury at the Grand Hotel and Spa on Mobile Bay, Alabama. Studies show subjects exposed to innovative learning create new knowledge and lead in ways that benefit society. Direct stimulation to the research sector inspires discoveries that strengthen the economy. In fact, a small handful of world-class universities are now recognized as the brains behind their state's prosperity. And you thought all we did was teach. The University of Maryland. Fear the turtle. Steel and your local steel dealers say, bring on the season. We're ready, ready to cut firewood and cut heating bills with the MS-170 Steel Chainsaw. Loaded with performance features found on professional chainsaws, it's just $179.95. Or upgrade to an MS-250 or the MS-290 Farm Boss and receive a free woodsman carrying case with purchase for a limited time only. Steel, premium brand, affordable price, and available exclusively at your local servicing steel dealer. Find one near you at SteelUSA.com. I'm Johnny Caraba. And I'm Damian Mandola. And Caraba's Italian Grill presents his favorite ACC moment. In our favorite ACC moment this week from Caraba's, we take a look at Wake's 2006 ACC Championship. Sam Swank kicked three field goals in a low scoring affair. The Deeks won 9 to 6. It was the second ACC title in school history in their 
first since 1970. This favorite ACC moment brought to you by Carabas. Good things happen around our table. Good things have happened for Maryland. They're up 13 to nothing on Wake Forest. Wake Forest defense has kept them in just about every game this year. One of the big reasons why is linebacker Aaron Curry. He's a leader on the field. He's a leader off the field. He is a key to Wake Forest success. I think my enthusiasm will carry me a long ways in football. I think I can get through to kids, to my teammates, to peers, to people under me, above me. I think just my enthusiasm allows people to believe that I have faith in what I can do and what, what is necessary to be done. That's gotta be the best part of the game for me. When you really get to lay somebody out, because you just exert all your energy into another person and just to hear the crowd's reaction. It just, something just rushes through me, and I, that's when I really go crazy when I get a nice look on somebody. Steps up. Oh, it's intercepted. It's Curry for the second time today. I tell you what, the fellas who play on Sundays, they love to see things like this. And we always on defense say that if we get the ball in our hands, we're not interested in going out of bounds or falling on the ground. We're interested in scoring. Because when a defense scores, it, it just impacts the game so much. This is, what, this is what we call lightweight, 352 pounds. This is where the game is won and lost. Either go hard or go home. Some people think football is just about Saturdays, the fancy uniforms, the nice helmets, the brand new cleats. For me, all the work is done in the weight room, in the meeting rooms off-season workouts, uh, extra workouts that you do. For once, it was always, oh, we're going to play weight, we're going to beat them and go home. And now it's people are preparing for us, and we're going to go out there, it's going to be a dog fight. And dog fights is, is a game that we love to play. To sit back and watch us go from four and seven to, what, 12 and three, and then nine and four is awesome to see that things can be changed with hard work and dedication. Also, well, Aaron Curry has already made some big stops in the first half for Wake Forest, although they trail 13 to nothing. Time for us to tell you now about our Cooper Tire Big Stop of the Week. It comes from North Carolina's Quan Sturdivant, who intercepted a Jimmy Clausen pass. He returned it 32 yards for a Tar Heel score, only seconds into the second half. One of five turnovers forced by the North Carolina defense as the Heels came from behind last Saturday to beat Notre Dame 29-24. That's our Cooper Tire big stop of the week. Maryland basketball coach Gary Williams will join us in a moment. But first, this word from your local ACC station. Catholic school has helped me embody a person that I want to be. Has prepared me academically, socially. I want to go to a Catholic college. I'm planning to be a nurse, a marriage and family therapist, a lawyer. A physical therapist. My favorite subject is chemistry. And math. English. And biology. I want to continue a Catholic education. It feels like a family. It's open house season at Catholic schools. Call 1-800-5-CATHOLIC for a list or visit our webpage. I love it. We've met Andy Harris's friends. They're not your friends. Like the utilities, oil, and gas lobby. They gave Harris big bucks, and he voted to deregulate electricity. Utilities made record profits, but Maryland families paid millions more. Now Harris backs big tax breaks for big oil, while you pay more at the pump. Andy Harris, his friends sure aren't your friends. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. Experience the homegrown color and beauty of Homestead Gardens, the area's premier nursery and garden center, featuring the region's largest selection of homestead-grown annuals, perennials, trees, and shrubs, plus patio furniture, home accents, and garden accessories. Fall is for planting, and Homestead Gardens has you covered. Visit us any weekend between now and the end of October for our celebrated fall festival. Enjoy workshops, straw maze, live music, food, and tons of family fun. Homestead Gardens, because life should be beautiful. So 
Subway, home of the famous $5 footlong. Like our fresh toasted oven roasted chicken breast and our newest $5 footlong, the fresh delicious chicken pizziola. $5 footlongs, all day, every day. At Subway. Flats getting us going once again here for this game and it's basketball season almost Gary Williams is here you've been doing this for a long time hey, we got the band blowing right in our back right in our ear here you've been doing this for a long time you still get that feeling in your stomach you get yeah you do I think that's how you check yourself every year to see if you feel that way and it's just great it's, it's this time of year it's time to be playing basketball it's tremendous uh, let's talk about last night this has become a culture across the country everybody's trying to do out I'll do everybody Everybody else now on Midnight Madness. I know our players uh, were pretty good dancing, and then uh, we had a treasury uh, armored car that weighed 17,000 pounds come onto the field, onto the court. So yeah, and, uh, and look at the guy popping out. It was out. bright in there. Yeah, it was, <laughs> so I had the sunglasses on. I guess North Carolina and the ACC is going to be number one in the nation. How how do you stack up in the ACC this year? Well, I think it's it's you know Carolina deserves to be ranked number one, and then after that, I think there's a lot of teams in that same area, and I think that's where you want to be at the start of the year you want to be good enough to be there and then you have to get better the teams that get better during the season will be there at the end of the year well good luck and get practice started we'll see you soon thanks mike great job <laughs> all right gary williams head basketball coach here it's time for us now to go to our outback steakhouse halftime scoreboard of course our score 13 nothing look at georgia deck at halftime on top of Clemson, 14 to three. Georgia, a couple of touchdowns on the Commodores in an SEC battle. Texas Tech, Texas A&M are having a great game. Second quarter there. Purdue and Northwestern are at halftime. Northwestern's a good team. Iowa leads Wisconsin third quarter and Nebraska three touchdowns all over Iowa State, 21 to nothing. Well, guys, 13-0 uh, here. You give credit to Maryland offensively and defensively. I thought they were outstanding in the first half. Well, I think especially on defense, Mike, not only are they pitching a shutout, but twice they've had to defend things in the short field, and they forced Wake Forest to miss on field goals both times. Yeah, they've done that. Wake Forest, of course, shorthanded without their excellent field goal kicker. But I think they've dodged the bullet because they only be down 13 zip here on the road. Despite some of the good things that have happened for the Terrapins, it's still anybody's game. And I keep going back to that Maryland Clemson game down in Death Valley. Well, we'll see if the second half turns around. Let's look at first half highlights. Darrell Scott gave us a pause. First time he handled the ball, he gets a big fumble, but Edwin Williams picks it up. Yeah, boy, I tell you what, you being at the right place at the right time. Big Edwin saved the day, and then Scott throws inside Hayward Bay. Touchdown, Turtles. And, of course, Wake Forest with the problems. They picked up two turnovers, two Darrell Scott fumbles in close. Failed both times to convert. This is a 41-yard miss by Shane Popham, who's subbing for Sam Swank. And then a 47-yard pull right out of the hole to the kicker. It was long enough. But yeah, Obi yeah. Agakeza was equal to the Agakeza got the job done not once. But twice, this one straight to the upright, and the final one, a little draw, and it gets it right <laughs> through the uprights. That's put the turtles up. But again, I still believe it's anybody's ball game. Let's look at our Hyundai halftime stats and how impressive has Maryland been offensively, defensively? They shut Wake Forest down to 106. No yards. doubt about that. I mean, Cosh's boys on defense have been playing with enthusiasm enthusiasm and a defensive line making plays. Skinner's been Houdini or it could have been worse. Two turnovers for Maryland. No points for Wake Forest. That's one of the other key stats of this first half of play. So second half awaits us. It's Maryland up 13 to nothing. The Wake Forest Demon Deacons plotting some offense in the locker room as we wait. This is Kirk Herbstreet. You know you're a true Outback fan when you think great coverage is crispy bacon wrapped around a filet on our mixed grill with sweet shrimp and sautéed scallops. To you, cutting up the middle means slicing into our Outback special sirloin. 17 spices, big, bold flavor seared in. Great picks starting at $9.99 for a limited time. Go, go, go. Crave on. It took me years to build good credit, but only a few minutes for someone to steal my identity and ruin it. With Wachovia, dedicated fraud specialists will work with you one-on-one -on -one to reclaim your identity, recoup your losses, and reestablish your financial reputation. 
Thankfully, there are people who care about my name as much as I do. I'm with Wachovia. Rated number one in satisfying customers. Wachovia. Going to the game this weekend, Jim? Well, Jerry, for more on that, let's throw it over to the Hampton Hotel where my wife Tracy has checked in. Trace, what's the mood over there? In a word, Jim, electric. Comfy beds, complimentary hot breakfast, and friendly service. No. Trace, what's that noise I hear? Wow, I wish you listened this well at home, Jim. She's kidding. <laughs> I'm not. It's college football, honey. Well, there you have it, folks. And Trace, I'll see you in a few hours. Back to you, Jerry. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Success never comes easy. It's the result of hard work, character, and a commitment to doing it right. Student athletes of the Atlantic Coast Conference meet these goals every day in their drive for excellence in the classroom and athletic competition. The official corporate partners of the ACC salute all the student athletes as they follow their dreams today, tomorrow, and beyond. ACC football is being brought to you by the new AT&T. By your local Toyota dealers. By Outback Steakhouse. By Wachovia. By Polaris Ranger. And by Chick-fil-A. ACC football is presented in high definition where available by MFS Investment Management, a diverse range of products so advisors can choose what fits. Our score here as we get ready to start the second half, 13-0 Maryland over Wake Forest. Jim Grove came out a few moments ago and our Mike Hogwood had a chance to talk with him. And Mike, what was on Jim's mind as we start the second half? Well, he said no adjustments, Steve. They just got to play better. He said he told the team, we can't play for you. Speaking of the coaches, you have to catch the football. They haven't played badly on defense, but he said offensively they have to execute. They're going to stay with the same game plan. Thank you, Mike. Doc, does that qualify as a big arm around the offense? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I mean, you, you don't panic. <laughs> they win one big game. Wake Forest has been there, been through this, but they got to make plays. That's what it comes down to. Give Maryland credit defensively. They turned up the gas. Agakaza with the kick. And Alex Fry back up to his one. Fry. Hits the wedge and gets out to about the 30 yard line. Ball pop loose. Well, we've had uh, loose footballs all over the place today. Wake has lost two but recovered their own. This could be their third and now they've got it. Maryland has fumbled four times and lost two. Let's take a look at the offensive leaders in the first half. Ryder Skinner eight for 16. Josh Adams only 2.8 per rush. They know they want more out of that. And the receiving yards by D.J. Bolden, 53, average 10.6 every time he touches it. D.J. Bolden, like Darius Hayward Bay, may become the central figures offensively for both of these teams in the second half. Yeah, they got to get in the end zone. Well, otherwise, the Terrapins will be This is maybe too far to close. Adams, nice hole, then it closes down. Dave Philistine leads the charge with Foku. And also Odalaja. Now, Fulstein, another one of those centers, one of those guys you expected to have a great season, and he's a good linebacker. He's made some plays in the first half. Here he comes off a block. Boy, that's form there. That'll make any coach happy. And off Adams again this time. Nice yardage, close to the first down, but just short. Trey Covington pulls him down after about a five-yard gain out to the 37-yard line. They need the 39 for a first. Hey, Coach Vermoski understands that he keeps that pass rush at bay by running the football. Yeah. Because uh, Maryland had figured out the cadence. Yep. Here's Adams straight ahead, and he has pulled for the first down over the 40-yard line. Dave Philistine in on the tackle. Six possessions, four punts, two missed field goals. Both possessions started in the short field. Look at that, 1.9 per rush. You want to be over three and a half. Two takeaways and no points off turnover. Change the tempo. Here is Bolden trying to turn the corner on Covington. Does a little bit, gets a little running room. Wiseman and Covington drive him out of bounds. It's a four yard gain to the 45. Trey does a good job. Again, Bolden, you just got to contain him. The guy, he's a brick. So you don't let those shoulders get square. He'll run over you, run by you. 
So you make him, you know, go lateral. That's, again, pretty good defense on the side of the Terrapins. I like the tempo. You see, Steve's trying to, he's trying to control the tempo and get his Demon Deacons in gear. Play fast. Second down and six. Here comes a pass to the flats. It's going to be out there to Bolden. And Bolden gets a couple of yards on the stretch. Moses Foku makes the tackle at the 48-yard line. D.J. Bolden has been the man of interest this afternoon. In the first half, that was his sixth reception we just saw him make. <laughs> and look, and that's what Doc says. Sulfur. He's a brick. He's a brick. <laughs> Goes right into the pile with all kinds of nerve. All right, third down and four. Big third down conversion coming for the Deeks. Skinner sets up, fire ball, batted down. Navarro. It's Jeremy Navar. Navar, and, and Mike Hollywood talked about Navar earlier in the game. And this guy, we've been watching him play forever. Big play against Florida State as a freshman. Look at Covington with the push. If you don't penetrate, then you elevate. All the good ones do it. Great job by another senior. Wake is three for ten on third down conversions, and they're now 28 percent on the season coming in. Not very good. But at 13 zip, you still have a shot. Pop them low snap, no rush. Not good. Not a good punt. That's not good. It's been a checkered day for the young man, and they're going to mark it out. Let's see where they. This is the walk of death <laughs> to the 36 yard point. Oh, oh, back to the huddle. <laughs> It's going to be a 17-yard punt, no return. Maryland with the lead and the football when we come back to College Park. Introducing the bigger, tastier chicken strips with our new Chick-fil-A sauce. This is the ruggedly re-engineered Ranger XP. The smoothest ride ever. A new level of comfort and convenience. It can get up and go where others can't follow. It just goes to show the more things change, one thing remains the same. The new Ranger. Hardest working, smoothest riding. Again, hurry in to your local dealer to see the new 2009 Ranger lineup. Orthopedic Associates of Central Maryland has been a fixture in our community for almost 40 years. Our dedicated and caring doctors, nurses, and office staff share the common goal of delivering to you the best possible orthopedic care. Visit us at www.mdbone.com. What's the champion difference? Over 55 years of experience. Factory direct pricing. The good housekeeping seal. Exclusive Comfort 365 glass. The best replacement windows in the industry. The champion difference is your easiest home improvement project ever. Say, you look great today. Thanks, you too. For your free in-home consultation, call, click, or visit our champion showroom today. Trust, Trust champion. champion. For many men, an interview suit is a first step toward a second chance. Donate your gently used professional clothing during the Men's Warehouse National Suit Drive and receive a 10% discount toward your next purchase. I guarantee it. ACC football brought to you in part by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota's keys are featured in RaycomSports.com. Maryland with a football first to 10 at their own 36. Up 13-0. And off goes straight ahead. It's going to be Darrell Scott. Scott who had trouble hanging on to the football in the first half, but did throw a touchdown pass. Gets out to the 39, a gain of three. Arnu with the tackle. Chris Turner, 20 of 28, pretty efficient day. Darrell Scott, 3.3 average. Darius Haywood Bay has been the playmaker today with eight receptions. He had 12 coming into this game and a touchdown, but that one from Darrell Scott on a nine yard. Throw by the halfback. Well, Darrell Scott owes James Franklin a lot of love. So there are a lot of guys he would be back at the ball game. That's right. Moment. And I'm one of them. Turner. Back to throw. Has the flats open. Hayward Bay is out there. 
And as they say, DHB gets the first down <laughs> at the 47 yard line. Chip Vaughn on the tackle. It's a nine yard, make it a 10 yard gain for first down. Yeah, in, anytime you get this young man the football, you, you increase your chances to win. Costa, good job on the pass, bro. Good throw, catch. Give him a chance. You just give him a chance, good things happen. You know, Costa and uh, Campbell have done a good job keeping uh, Boo Robinson quiet this yeah, afternoon. Yeah, they, they really have. And Burley over at the right tackle spot seems to be at home. First and ten at the 47. Turner to throw. Blitz is on by G. Turner steps up in the pocket. Pass is complete to Corey Jackson. Flag down in the secondary. Corey runs by it to the 24-yard line. And let's see what the flag is at the 36. Stanley Arnoux on the tackle. A a temporary flag. Yeah, 29-yard gain. It's one of those holding in the secondary flags. I, I was looking at it. Is that a flag? And yes. Yeah. It's just great awareness by Turner if he pulled it off. Because I'm just about to say, boy, you got to go. And then again, where is Aaron Curry? Yeah. It's going to be against Wake. Holy number nine, defense. The penalty is declined. First down. Yeah, the proximity of the flag led me to believe it had to be some type of holding in the secondary. Again, that's good pro. He makes the decision. I mean, that's balling now. See, now Chris Turner stepping into that next phase, that next wave of balling. And you got to give Torrey Smith credit. He earned that holding. <laughs> First and 10 at the 23 yard line of Wake Forest. Turner has been most efficient this afternoon. I'm talking about the two most efficient quarterbacks in the ACC. Yeah. Well, Skinner's shown us. There's Dale, Darius Haywood Bay. What a catch. But his delay in securing the ball allowed Chance McClinic to slow him down and the defense to catch up. Well, when you're good, you get lucky, too. <laughs> he just goes after it. Good hands. You know, being chased. And again, you, uh, you just can't give him the ball enough. You keep going to him. You keep going to him. He's going to make things happen. Well, the young man has nine receptions, ten receptions on the day. He had 12 coming in. Yes. Well, again, neutralizing that werewolf and Aaron Curry is the most impressive thing to me. Yes, it is. Toss comes to Darrell Scott. Turns the corner. Pursuit by Smith to slow him down and knocking him out is Kevin Patterson. Impressive run at the 19-yard line. Not a lot of yards, but under stiff opposition. And he kept going. And you know, Darrell learned a lot about himself. Fight through what he went through in the first half. Bill's character. Of course, the one of the more important things, he still had possession of the ball after he just Yes, he hit. did. Yes, he did. He losing three yes. fumbles in the first half. Well, he owes James Franklin, like I said, at least a high five after this one. You got it. Third down and six. Maryland up 13 0. They need to convert here. Big rush is on. Pass complete to Scott. Great open field tackle by who? Curry. Aaron Curry. Yeah. There he is, baller. That stopped the first down. It's a two yard game. I'm accustomed to calling this guy's name like once every four plays. Aaron Curry. Good hands, great play, great range linebacker. All right, here is the red zone, and this is what Maryland's done 22 times in. They've settled for field goals on six occasions and made touchdowns on 12. And that's a look at the O'Reilly Auto Parts red zone. Better parts, better prices every day. 35 yard kick will be the third attempt of the day for Obi Egakeza. It is up, and it is routine. Ega Keza with eight straight field goals after missing his first five has gained the confidence to put the Maryland Terrapins up by 16. 16 nothing. Terrapins over the Deacon. A new day is coming and new ways to meet our area's growing energy needs because Progress Energy is using innovative and environmentally responsible solutions including solar power, alternative energy like eGrass, and energy-saving efficiency programs for clean, reliable, affordable power and a future that's always bright. Progress Energy, looking at power in a new light. 
this is Kirk Herbstreet. You know you're a true Outback fan when you think great coverage is crispy bacon wrapped around a filet on our mixed grill with sweet shrimp and sautéed scallops. To you, cutting up the middle means slicing into our Outback special sirloin. 17 spices, big, bold flavor seared in. Let's go Great picks, starting at $9.99 for a limited time. Go, go, go. Let's go Outback Crave on. Keep has it. Ho has it. Captain Defense has it. It's checking built for Baltimore only from M&T Bank. Get free Ravens checks and a Ravens check card, a cash bonus of up to $100, and a cool Ravens stadium blanket. Checking built for Baltimore. You should have it too. Visit any M&T branch or builtforbaltimore.com today. So, how is your day? With its 35.7 cubic feet of cargo space, it's convenient, easy... WJZ's community commitment continues with Gilcrest Hospice Care's taste and auction of Howard County. Step right up to sample the best the county has to offer. From the specialties of more than 20 restaurants and caterers. Step right up for Hospice's big event, October 19th at Turf Valley Resort. Call 410-730-5072. SK Menswear is the official wardrobe provider of the ACC. Log on to skmenswear.com to get some great deals during their buy one, get one free event. Scoring drive for the Maryland Terrapins. They go seven plays, 46 yards, six plays, 46 yards. Edgar Kazan with a 35 yard field goal, his third of the day. The big play in that drive, a 29 yard pass and run to Corey Jackson from Chris Turner. Here is Alex Fry. And Fry. Goes up to about the 27-yard line. Now, just like every week, Rascal Flats opens our telecast with a hit Bob that head from the album Still Feels Good. The guys teamed up with volunteers from the Home Depot, Academy of Country Music, Kaboom, and the Birmingham community members this past Wednesday to build a playground in Birmingham just one day at Princeton Alternative Elementary School. The playground's design is based on drawings by children at the school. Our guys. Rascal Flats out there in the community. Good to see him out there. Yeah, good, good guys. First and ten from the 28 for Wake Forest. And this is Devin Brown. Devon Brown, actually redshirt freshman from Ashburn, Virginia. On the carry, it's a 10-yard gain. It's one of the more successful running plays of the game for Wake. Well, Vars quick. He gets a good wall. Look at the convoy outside. Boy, that was a reckless. Throwing the body up in there at the end. <laughs> uh, Terrible. Missed that number, but that was, I like that. Was it McCullough? Yeah, uh, no, it was uh, Carroll. Nolan Carroll. Well, he came in there with reckless abandonment. I like that. First and 10 at the 38. After a 10 yard gain, Skinner in the shotgun. Pass complete. Out there to Ben Worcester. Short gain of three. Well, let's go to the sidelines and Mike Hogwood. Steve, I want to give you a quick injury update. You'll remember that uh, Kevin Barnes got hurt in the first half. He hurt his shoulder. He has been declared out for the rest of the game for Maryland. Oh, that's a key loss right yeah. there because Barnes is their returning starter from a year ago. That puts Michael Carter on the spot. Worcester's first catch of the day. He's had several thrown his way. Blitz coming from Philistine. Skinner uses a lead blocker Pendergrass to get up near midfield and get the first down of the 49 yard line. A gain of nine. Jamari McCullough lowered the hit on him, but not before Skinner had got the yard to get the first down. Boy, this is what every coach wants is a Riley Skinner. See, now he's a halfback. At this point, I mean, what's stopping you there? There's nothing stopping you. If we run it through, and he turns into a fullback at the end. First and ten, just six inches shy of midfield. Skinner to throw. Steps up in the pocket, goes down. That's going to be Jeremy Navarre. Navarre again. Just relentless pursuit. And some guys, man, you know, technique. Some guys have technique to get the sacks. Some guys have speed. And other guys, man, they just have heart. They just don't stop. He's a tackle with end characteristics. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Tweeter. Yep. You know, with the heart the size of a of an ox. Senior from Joppatown, Maryland. Second down and 11. Play action. Screen comes out and out of Brown, and he's thrown for a loss. Hey, well, that's what that looked like on that. And it's Antoine Perez. Yeah, Perez. 
Matthews played some safety. They played a little weak linebacker. He's going to go back there with Barnes out. He had him had some injuries. Well, that's a good play by Perez. Yep, nice play from the transfer from Southern Cal. Who's from Westfield Grove, New Jersey. Sophomore, third down coming. Big third down for the Deacons. They are three of ten on third down conversions. Oh, cool. You can see him. He's just chopping at the bit to come in. It's at the bottom of your screen. Yeah. Snap count held him tight. Skinner, pass, broken up. By Nolan Carroll. Yeah, Carroll's a playmaker. See, that's that ball in there. Intended for the true freshman tight end, Andrew Parker. The Jacksonville native, but great play by the Maryland Terrapins. Because Wake is just a touchdown away from being in perfect position. Now, pretty soon, Big Ben will work in their favor. But they have got to get in the end zone. And Nolan Carroll there, I mean, that's just getting it done. Well, Kendo back to get Shane Popham's kick. Hoffman had a 17 yarder last time off the side of his foot. Line of scrimmage of 48. Gets one off this time. Fair catch called for by a Kendo. Went into by his own player. A Kendo run into the crowd oohs and ahs, but. <laughs> that perfect turn of position. Yeah, Trenton Hughes ran into it. It's a 33 yard punt. No return. Ball sets up at the 18 yard line for Maryland. Timeout on the field, and we'll be back after this word from your local ACC station. They say that the path chosen today prepares leaders for tomorrow. So I chose academics, excellence, and a diverse culture. My path was clear. graduate of Morgan State University. Did you know that Morgan State University has educated more than half of the African American engineers, educators, and healthcare professionals in Maryland? Jones Junction is celebrating the first anniversary of Jones for a Lifetime. Here's what our customers are saying. I really like Jones for a Lifetime for the free oil changes, uh, my engine's covered for life, uh, free car washes, free manicures. I'm now here for an oil change and a free car watch, which is all part of Jones for a Lifetime. Being a single mom, I don't have any worries. I have Jones for a Lifetime. Come to Jones Junction in Bel Air, the only place to get Jones for a Lifetime. JonesJunction.com. So with Fios, I get the best picture quality, the fastest internet, HBO and Cinemax free for 30 days, and a DVR free for a year. Yes, 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 and yes. Nice. What about you? We've got um, stuff also that's good. Cable just can't compare to Fios. When Verizon brings fiber optics straight to your home, you get razor sharp TV picture, the fastest internet, and crystal clear phone service. All for just $99.99 a month with a one year agreement. Call 1 877 795 6755 before October 31st and get a multi room DVR free for a year, plus HBO and Cinemax free for 30 days. With Fios, you get the best HD experience, best HD sports, plus over 11,000 titles on demand per month. And Fios Internet gives you ridiculously fast speeds. To get the only TV, internet, and phone package, that comes with a multi-room DVR free for a year, plus HBO and Cinemax free for 30 days, you must call before October 31st. Wait any longer and you'll miss out on this amazing offer. This is Fios. This is big. Today's game is brought to you in part by Old State. Maryland Terrapins take over the football at their own 18-yard line. Chris Turner been very efficient today. 24 of 32, 75%. 225 yards. Handoff now to Darrell Scott, and he is upended by Josh Bush. Yeah, it was a good tackle. And it could have been a game saving tackle yes, it could in that case because Scott had his shoulders square, his engine was roaring, <laughs> and he just got taken out. He was on the move for sure. It's just the same. It's a six yard game. He's up second down and four. Maryland Terrapins have had the ball for a good measure of this football game. They've had clock control. But as Doc said, they need a seven instead of a three here at the end of one of these drives to give them some breathing room. Here's the toss. It goes to Scott. And Scott gets up to about the 30 where he is close to the first down and may have enough. See they, what the spot is. Aren't you on the tackle? They've been, from a finesse standpoint, they've been highly effective. In order to put this game away, they're going to have to go into the Neanderthal mode. 
and start decleaning people. And then they're going to have to be able to run the ball down the Demon Deacon's throat and walk away with it. That's because, you know, low risk. Well, you look at what's happening on the left side of that offensive line, Doc, and Bruce Campbell has been a good insertion over there at left You've tackle. seen Bruce, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, he Big blocks man. the sun. <laughs> He's an eclipse. First and ten. I call him Adonis. Two play fakes. Now the throw to Haywood Bay, and he is shot down by Curry. It's a loss on the play of a yard. A whole bunch of movement, but not much yardage. So explosive. And good pressure by Michael Carter. And we take the high end zone look again. Curry, I've been, I've been calling for him because I'm so used to having him in every shot. Watch him come in there. Good hit, get the tackle down. And at the end of it, you know, he helps Haywood Bay up and they give a little dap. Mutual respect by two flat out ballers. Curry this season came into this game with 39 tackles, four for loss, and that's his fifth for loss today. The pitch to Scott. Maneuvers around a block by his fullback Corey Jackson. He gets out of bounds at the 34 yard line. It'd be a gain of about four. Brings up third down and eight. Maryland this afternoon, three of seven on third down. Say the life of the fullback. It's not glamorous. But I'll tell you what. Corey Jackson is all caveman. I mean, he came out then and sold out. Big time block at the point of attack. Because he waited. I mean, you take the scoreboard away. You can't tell who's winning by what. No, no, it's I mean, that's true. the mark of a good football team. Third down and six. Big third down for the Terrapins. Leading here, 16 nothing. Trying to keep this drive alive and keep Wake's offense off the field. Turner throws downfield. It is complete. That's golf. Complete to Tommy Golf, the backup. Tight end, Kevin Patterson on the tackle, an 18 yard gain to Galt, his first reception of the year. Tommy Galt makes a big play here. Gets in the lane, good throw. Boy Turner is flat out balling now, folks. He has elevated his game. It started when he came back and didn't cross the line of scrimmage, hit Haywood Bay downfield. Now he's starting to put this team on his shoulders and lead them. Keep him in possession of the ball on a key third down. There you see his scorecard 26 of 34, 231 yards, 10 of those to Darius Haywood Bay, his first this season to Tommy Galt. He's the son of the strength and conditioning coach, White Galt. Darrell Scott changes direction, recranks the motor, and gets a nice gain out of it. Patterson is right there with Robinson. That was for the players over there. That's who he put on. What it's Chris Turner. What a day. What a day for him. And Doc, everything about his operation has been pretty good, including the 10 passes to that man. Yeah. There he is. Hey. Accuracy. He's had variances in his variances throws, but it's the leadership quality. When he needs to gun it, he's gunned it. He's like a pitcher. He's got a good off-speed pitch. He can got the high heat and he's leading. 76 percent. Not bad. Not bad at all. And he's thrown to eight guys so far this afternoon. Eight different receivers have caught balls from Chris Turner. Second down. Fake in around. Looking for Kendo. Complete. At the 12 yard line. Kevin Patterson on the saving tackle. A 30 yard aerial hookup. And the seventh big play of the day for the Maryland offense. Well, Kendo is so consistent. He's going to run a quarter route. Now watch the eyes of Turner. Turner's watching it. He throws the ball right on the money. Good catch, turn, and run. And the Terrapins now are on fire. Well, we chart big plays in a day. And that's the seventh for Maryland. Wake Forest has one. First and ten from the 12-yard line. Turner is perfect in the second half. Here is Darrell Scott inside the ten, down to about the eight. Tackle made by Hunter Haynes. When Antonio Wilson came in there, man, just knifed in. This is a stingy group. And the Terrapins got in the air with the halfback pass. A little finesse move, but they have not been able to bully their way in. Let's take a look at Wake defensively, what they've allowed. 14 possessions. They've allowed nine touchdowns and four field goals. So 13 of the 14 times the opposition has scored. That's a look at our Wiley Auto Parts red zone. Better parts, better prices every day. Second down and eight. Turner looking end zone. No. 
Alfonso Smith defending Darius Hayward Bay. <laughs> what a matchup. It's like a duo. You get Bay, then Smith, they're going back and forth, throwing overhand right. That ball was right on the money. And Smith said, not today. That's 10 straight completions for Turner, seven here in the second half. Play action fake. Pops it in. You think it's there, but see, you're going with number two. Now, this has been a classic matchup. Smith in the red zone. Third down coming, and about eight. They made third and seven farther upfield. Akendo and Smith to the top, Haywood Bay to the bottom. Looking to the top, here's Turner into the end zone. Defender falls. It was intended for Smith, but nothing but white shirts around. You want to know why Wake Forest is always in every game? Is because they don't give up cheap scores. Right. Now they've taken away Maryland's best shot. Three big plays. We've said what plays? They end up with three. This is a chance at three. Well covered. That time they ate him up. If he stayed up, if he was Will Chamberlain, he wouldn't have had that one. This will be a 26 yarder for Obi Egekeze. Egekeze has two hits and well, that was it. And that one was hit and it went in. Oh, oh, Chip Vaughn may have gotten a piece of his second kick today, but Egekeze will not be denied. That's his fourth field goal of the game. It is nine straight after missing his first five, and Maryland advances the lead to 19 nothing. Okay, Chip, we well, Anthony Davis, one of those guys. Sometimes it's just your day. Let's take a look at it again. Edgar Kaiser right now, man, he can't do anything wrong. Snap is a good hold. Was Vaughn. Oh, that slow motion. No. No, I don't know. He he just, was, looked like Anthony Davis on the left been. side might have gotten in on it. Either that or he's living dangerously. No doubt about it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Chip Vaughn has some bad ups. Oh, yeah. Remind me of me and my youth. Well, I think. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, real young. You tied it. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, real young. Well, we're talking grade school. We're talking grade school. <laughs> <laughs> Fry and Brown back to get Egekez's kick, who, who thinks he can kick through steel and iron walls. So far, so good. Four field goals on the day. The Terrapins up 19 nothing, but it's still only three scores as you yeah. go. We've seen Wake work miracles. <laughs> they need one now. They were down 24 to three last year. Came back one in overtime. Mm -hmm. Here is Fry. Slow gallop from the 14. Spins ahead, runs into his own man, and is brought ahead to the 32 yard line. Well, a look at our Heisman in the ACC. You know, in 1964, Wake Forest running back Brian Piccolo led the nation in rushing and finished 10th on the Heisman list. Many said he was too small, too slow to play in the NFL. What he lacked in size and speed, he made up for in grit and determination. On June 16, 1970, Brian Piccolo died of cancer at the age of 26. But his legend will live on. Wake Forest. First and 10 from their own 32 yard line. An empty backfield for Riley Skinner out of the gun. Quarterback draw. And he gets some nice yardage up to about the 38 yard line. And it'll be an eight yard gain. Alex Wojak comes in to make the tackle. Maybe because we saw it last year. But when I watch Wake Forest, I, I just always feel like they have a chance to win. But you, you, they're not out of it until I see that gun go off. Oh, I know. They have uh, suffered though from offensive output today. Here's DJ Bolden drops this pass behind the line. But it's a forward pass, so it's incomplete. Last five possessions for the Wake Forest. Stephen Deacons, 24 plays, only 58 yards at 2.4 per play. It reflects exactly what Steve Lebotsky told us in our teleconference on Wednesday that they are really scrambling to find some semblance of continuity on offense. Two play fakes. Oh, he got it. Skinner down the middle of the field. Got a man out there. No. That is Marshall Williams, the sophomore from Durham, North Carolina. And he could not connect with Riley Skinner. Brings up fourth down. Boy, he had a well designed play. I mean, Steed's got to be up in the coach's room going, they just like you draw it up. You got behind Skinner. 
That would have been the band would have struck up too. They brought the whole band. Yeah, they did. It would have struck up on that. That was it. <laughs> Three and out instead for Wake Forest and Shane Popham on the kick. Danny Okendo to receive for the Maryland Terrapins. Line of scrimmage, the 38. Gets a lot of air underneath this one. Fair catch called for. Okendo gets away from it. There's a flag down on the play. And it rolls dead at the 13 yard line. Nice kick of 48 yards by Shane Popham. But let's see what the flag is all about at the 22. Ron Cherry and his crew talk things over. Let's see what the call is going to be. Kick catch interference. 43 of the kick and take. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. Well, that takes 15 yards off a 48 yard punt. This football season, it's all about you, 10 friends, and a private jet. Sounds like a movie. Uh, Actually, it's the all tell my circle gridiron getaway for your chance to take 10 friends on a private jet to any regular season game. The ultimate VIP experience for your chance to win. Text ACC to 57533 or visit alltellfootball.com. I'm willing to offer my services to chaperone that, that trip. I think that would be an excellent feature. I think they got Chad doing it, though. <laughs> All that need is an expense account. <laughs> conquer the world. Oh boy. Darrell Scott launching in to the pile and bounces to the corner. And gets it out of bounds at the 44 yard line. It's going to be a gain of five. Matt Woodleaf on the tackle. Let's head to the sidelines and Mike Hogwood. Well, Chris Turner's had a great game today. And if there was one positive to come out of the 31 nothing loss to Virginia's, Portis comes in now for the first time. It was the fact that he was able to take a lot of hits and really impressed a lot of people the way he stood in the pocket and was able to take a lot of hits. I think he proved a lot to his team that day. There's no doubt. No doubt about it. He is poor. He is scared. <laughs> Portis in at quarterback. Now he wants to throw. Matt Robinson in pursuit. Portis tucks it under and gets what he usually gets. A first down by using his feet. Aaron Curry knocked it out of bounds. It's at the 50 yard line and uh, close to an 11 yard game. Can you imagine how talented you have to be to sit here and watch for three quarters? Go in then and have Matt Robinson. Who's a werewolf? Come after you. Come out of this. Not like he's been over there riding the cycle, staying warm. Yeah. And having the athletic ability to do this. I mean, Portis has unlimited skills. Nice game by Portis. And we have come to the end of the third quarter. The Maryland Terrapins have dominated with two field goals here to add to the total. And they're up 19 to nothing. Riley Skinner frustrated offensively. A Maryland defensive effort that has been stout this afternoon. It took me years to build good credit, but only a few minutes for someone to steal my identity and ruin it. With Wachovia, dedicated fraud specialists will work with you one on one to reclaim your identity, recoup your losses, and reestablish your financial reputation. Thankfully, there are people who care about my name as much as I do. I'm with Wachovia. Rated number one in satisfying customers. Wachovia. If you're going to eat $5, shouldn't you get your money's worth? Now, Quiznos has six large deli favorite sandwiches for only $5 each. Try the new Primo Meatball today. Toasted, melted, delicious. Mmm, Quiznos. Touchdown at Hampton, you wake up a winner. That's right, Tracy. <laughs> Thanks to their complimentary hot breakfast. Omelet. Sausage. French toast sticks. I love French food and sticks. Nissan set out to create the perfect on-road vehicle and in the process created a category. Introducing two crossover leaders from Nissan. The redesigned Murano, awarded as an IIHS top safety pick. And the versatile Rogue, named 2008's best new small crossover. Lease the 27 MPG Nissan Rogue, just $199 a month. Don't follow the leader, own one. At your Nissan dealer now. 
It's a digital world, and Comcast can help you make the most of it. Comcast Digital Cable with HD. Just $39.99 a month for six months. Get what Verizon and DirecTV don't deliver. Like any room on demand. Choose from thousands of on-demand titles. Start in one room, finish in another. Access more HD programming choices than anyone. Comcast Digital Cable with HD. Just $39.99 a month for six months. Call 1-800-COMCAST and you can be installed within 48 hours. Today's game is brought to you by Altel, the official wireless partners of fans. It's Maryland with a football a yard shy of midfield, up 19-0. We're ready to start the fourth quarter. Steve Martin, Doc Walker, and Mike Hogwood at College Park for ACC football from Raycon. And uh, Darrell Scott on the carry. Brought Curry. down there by Aaron Curry. And let's take a look at our stats through three quarters brought to you by the new AT&T total offense is uh, the big thing here 379 to 151 an average per play and uh, rushing yardage Maryland right at a yard shy of the century mark get a behind the scenes look at uh, some of your favorite teams and players at ATT slash sports second down and seven. Big blitz up the middle. Turner gets rid of it. Upfield, no. Intended for Gronkowski. But great effort. Great right effort. Set. Great uh, pressure by McClinic. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say where Boo Robinson was. Uh, this time he had a great, he got a no runner. And then you watch Darrell Scott comes over, gives a nice little chip, and Turner tries to make a play. You know, and he tries to make a play right in the middle of the field. Oh. And takes a. Woo! Well, that's a hit. That was a hit. But the guy's tough, and I like the fact he tried to make a big play. Woodleaf and Carter laid the wood to him. Third down and seven now. Big play coming up for Maryland. Leading here 19-0. Early on in the fourth quarter. Blitz coming. Pass is complete. No, Torrey Smith couldn't hang on. He had enough for the first down at the 38-yard line. Covered on the play over there by Kerry Major. Man, that ball was there. You got to catch that. The quarterback's getting his brains knocked around. He's standing in the pocket, throws it out there. You got to catch it. Travis Baltz on for only the third time this afternoon. Alfonso Smith ready to receive it as Chris Turner shakes up the cobwebs to the sidelines. And Baltz with a beautiful punt. It's going to be a little too beautiful into the end zone, but boy, it looked pretty in flight for Travis Baltz. Yeah, no did. return. First and ten, wait for us with plenty of work to do at the 20 when they get back. It's Maryland 19, wait, nothing. Look at all this fresh seafood. It's the key to our newest creation, Risotto di Mare. Fresh clams, mussels, shrimp, and scallops. Fresh seafood's the most important part. And making the risotto rich and creamy. And it's these Italian spices that give this a little Carabas kick. I love a kick, Johnny. I know. I like all these combination of flavors that makes our risotto di mare an authentic Italian dish. At Carabas, good things happen around our table. This is the ruggedly re-engineered Ranger XP. The smoothest ride ever. A new level of comfort and convenience. It can get up and go where others can't follow. It just goes to show the more things change, one thing remains the same. The new Ranger. Hardest working, smoothest riding. Again, hurry in to your local dealer to see the new 2009 Ranger lineup. Whose year is it? Who's got the drive? Do you have what it takes? Are you on the road to victory? We'll see you at the end of the road. The Hyundai Santa Fe has impressive features, like room for seven, available all-wheel drive, and America's best warranty. But the most impressive feature of all, 24 miles per gallon. After all, what good is a crossover utility vehicle if you can't afford to drive it? 
Right now, get up to $3,500 cash back on a fuel-efficient 2008 Hyundai Santa Fe. See your local Hyundai dealer today for this and other outstanding values. Today's game is brought to you in part by Allstate. Wake Forest on their 10th possession, their previous nine. Seven punts, two missed field goals. This oh, one that's a catch. is going to be there. Oh, yes, man. Uh, incomplete to Ben Worcester. Man. I don't know. That looked good. They played the last five Again, I'm partial. Ben I'll say it up front. I'm partial. Nope. Oh, it did bounce. Yep, bounce off bounce. the ground. I've just seen tight ends make that kind of catch before over and over and over. <laughs> no, that was a great effort. <laughs> he almost pulled it off. Second down and 10. To throw Skinner with time. Upfield looking for Bolden complete. At the 38 yard line, it's going to be a gain of 18. Wiseman on the tackle for the Maryland Terrapins. They wanted to go to Brinkman on the pump and go. That was a pump and go. But Maryland took that away. Carroll with Nolan with great coverage, so they went on the opposite side. Not a bad option going to Bolden, but they wanted to go for the big one. First and 10. Carroll's a good cover man. Pass complete to Pendergrass. And Pendergrass is near midfield. At the 48, it's an 11 yard gain. Philistine on the tackle. Good pass, pro. Kind of regained himself. See, I like the way he squared those shoulders up. When in doubt, square up and go forward. First and 10 of the 48, Skinner. Again with good time. Has a man down there. That's Williams. Did he get out? Incomplete. Intended for Marshall Williams, Nolan Carroll covering on the play for Maryland. Yeah, Maryland, they cut Maryland in zone, and Carroll did his job. Make the throw go over you. That's your job in zone. He does that, and no, good call. Cherry's group's been on the money today. Yes, they have. Very well appreciated game. Only one call overturned, and that was a tough bang bang play. Yeah. Second down and 10. Skinner now scrambling away from Navarre. Yeah. Pass downfield. Complete to Rinfret. His fullback at the 32 yard line of Maryland. It's their first excursion into Maryland Terrapin, Terrapin territory in the last six possessions. Foku just couldn't stretch his arms out. Again, in the zone, if the quarterback moves out the pocket, he can break the zone down if the receivers keep running. Stay active. They did exactly that. He find the spot. Big play for Wade. Three big plays this drive so far, Doc. Going through the air exclusively. Skinner to throw again. Steps up. Chased by Covington. Brought down at the 28-yard line. It'll be a gain of four on the play. Covington's played very well today. Covington had bad intentions on his mind on that <laughs> play. You could tell. He'd made up his mind he was going to get to the quarterback. And you have to pursue Riley Skinner with bad intentions because this kid is terrific. They're doing a good job protecting Skinner so far. And sacked twice. Skinner steps up and he'll go down a third time. This time at the 35, Philistine leads the charge. Call it a coverage sack, if you will. Yeah, but Philistine had a real good rush. And Dave, I mean, he has great pass rushing skills and instinct. He's been close a couple of times. This time he closed the deal. Loss of six. Brings up third and 13. Mr. Elijah has also been a man possessed for the Terrapins. That time Prendergrass. Had a hard time getting by. There's Skinner on the day, 14 of 28, 127 yards. Hasn't had any picked off. Skinner back to throw, looks right, now turns left, and gets upfield. Woljack will pull him down at the 28 yard line. Alex Woljack and the pressure on the play that forced him out of the pocket by Moses Fuku. See, I I'll give Skinner. A heads up. Stay away from Hammerjack. See, it's one thing to mess around those outside backers. You run in the middle, there's Hammerjack, and you will get hit. Well, they're not going to kick here. Would you? No. Down 19. Am my backup kicker available? No. Empty backfield. Skinner to throw. Downfield. Tip. Tip by Jeremy Navarre, who makes the defensive play of the game. About 20 yards off the line of scrimmage. Navarre shows his versatility. I don't know how this guy will, will be measured by pros, 
I'll leave that up to Mel Kuyper and those, and those guys, but I'll tell you what, he's going to be on somebody's team. Timeout on the field with 11-19 left to play. Maryland holds tight. They're up by 19. When you touch down at Hampton, you wake up a winner. That's right, Tracy. <laughs> Thanks for their complimentary hot breakfast. Omelet. Sausage. French toast sticks. I love French food and sticks. It took me years to build good credit, but only a few minutes for someone to steal my identity and ruin it. With Wachovia, dedicated fraud specialists will work with you one-on-one -on -one to reclaim your identity, recoup your losses, and reestablish your financial reputation. Thankfully, there are people who care about my name as much as I do. I'm with Wachovia. Rated number one in satisfying customers. Wachovia. Want to see more ACC action? With a new ACC Select service presented by Raycom Sports and CBS College Sports, you're just a click away. Watch your favorite sports live on your computer or catch all the action later with on-demand viewing. See exclusive features highlighting your favorite ACC teams and student athletes. Visit theacc.com or your favorite ACC school's official athletic website for more information. When you touch down at Hampton, you wake up a winner. That's right. Thanks for their friendly service. They even remembered my name. <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> that you will never know. Smart move, Tracy. <laughs> Seriously, what's your name? Nissan set out to create the perfect on-road vehicle. And in the process, created a category. Introducing two crossover leaders from Nissan. The redesigned Murano, awarded as an IIHS top safety pick. And the versatile Rogue, named 2008's best new small crossover. Lease the 27 MPG Nissan Rogue, just $199 a month. Don't follow the leader, own one. At your Nissan dealer now. Today's game brought to you in part by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Maryland starts over at their own 28 yard line after the defensive stand on Wake Forest's longest drive of the day. But like all the others, come up empty. Draw play, Darrell Scott. Ooh, shot down by Good. Kevin Patterson. And let's look at this last play that Jeremy Navarre makes for Maryland. Well, first of all, let's identify Navarre. There he is there, 40. Now watch the eye. The eyes tell you everything. Navarre goes from three point stance to linebacker. To visionary. He see, found the football, saw the eyes, and made a play. <laughs> visionary. Visionary. Great human. Well, you love a guy that can, is that versatile and it gives you his guts. Uh, you watch this kid over the summer the way he pounds the steel. And he looks like a guy that ought to be doing something physical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that. that? Here, do after mine. Second down yeah. and four. And mine. Yours is intention. Here comes Turner. Possible busted play, and he turns it in to a two or three yard gain. He's going to be close to the first down. He needs the 38 to get it. And it looks like he's just shy, maybe close enough for a measure. Yeah, yeah, it looks a little short. And Kyle Wilbur in on the tackle for Wake Forest. Mine is a sign of the times, down economy. I can't afford it, guys. <laughs> you see the scoreboard, South Florida putting it to Syracuse, Utah. They're unbeaten. Rutgers with a 12-3 lead over Connecticut. Let's see what the chain says. Northwest still pounding. It's going to be very close. Razor thin on third down. Manhood issue time. Yeah. Well, all season long, we're following the road to Tampa Bay and the ACC football championship in Tampa on December 6th, just six weeks away. A tight race to the finish. Stay tuned because this game. We'll have a big say in who continues and vaults out of here. Wake well, Forest came in here unbeaten. Talk about all the seniors. 16 on one side, 12 on another. Force returning linemen, blah, blah, blah. Well, now we're going to find out because that's what it comes down to. You know, if you look at this film, if you Terrapin fans are going, what happened against UVA? Yeah. I'll tell you what happened. UVA is damn good. Yeah, they're good. Okay. So now you say, you look at Wake and you go, we know how good they are. So this is anybody's game. Anybody's anybody can get it, but you got to earn it. Everybody's in tight. They need six inches. Rejection. 
It might be. Very close. Let's see where the mark is. Looks like the mark's going to make it. Woodleaf and Arnu come in. I'm looking right where the official puts the ball. Yeah, it's emotional. I mean, this is the thing you work spring ball all the way, summer ball, and the road to Tampa Bay, and it's like dangling out there, and it's about who wants it. Close enough to measure again this time. So two back-to-back -back measurements. Now from there, looks like he well, got it looks it. like good penetration, but yeah. he wasn't low. See, Turner went high. That's again, quarterbacks aren't running backs. So you got to just draw in straws. You don't know what's going to happen. The line had a pretty good surge, but the competition was stiff. He got it. Maryland keeps possession of the football with 9.58 left to play. He got home cooking. <laughs> he got some home cooking. Well, when that, when the linesman came out and I saw his foot first hit the ground, I said, yeah. oh, he's got it. Yeah, well, that's home cooking. Because the surge was good. But again, when you mark that ball in the middle of that breakfast, I mean, that was a fight going. That was a fifth fight. Yeah, it was. First and ten for the Terrapins at their own 38. Turner's had a great day. Hand off Darrell Scott. Keep in mind, Scott put the ball on the ground three times in the first half. And there's the ball out to the 42 yard line again at four. You know, this broadcast is a copyright presentation of Raycom Sports. Any use of this broadcast without the express permission of the Atlantic Coast Conference and Raycom Sports is prohibited. Steve Martin with Doc Walker, Mike Hogwood. Chevy Chase Bank Field, Bird Stadium in College Park. A beautiful, brisk day. Temperature has stayed in the 50s all day, and we've had an unsuspecting wind blow across the field at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Josh Portis in at quarterback. That's He'll hand off. Yep. Unbalanced line. Haywood Bay is flat. Arnu. John Russell, Arnu. <laughs> I like the concept. I like it. He did kind of stretch it. See, we got when I saw 74 on the right side, they kind of switched the power. They had a lot of bulk on that right side. Good effort, but they didn't get the Demon Deacons out of their lane. They didn't fall for it. John Russell making the stop. He was the guy that Wake Forest was looking at at the bowl school when the bowl school coach convinced them to look at Riley Skinner at the same time. And the rest is history. So Both Skinner, have been thank very you, good. Guard. Yep. Third down and six. Our first and ten line brought to you by SeatExchange.com, official ticket exchange partner of the ACC. Turner to throw. Big play to the tight end right off Don Gronkowski's hands. Incomplete. Brings the punter on and Wake will get the ball back. That was a masterpiece from the standpoint of Turner. He looks the receiver or looks the safety off, comes back to it, puts the mud ball right on the money. Yeah. I mean, that was just. Coach Franklin at that point has to be salivating. Got what we want. Well, they talk about potential, but but you know what is potential? Yeah. A lot of people get fired with people with potential. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? All right, we've got Bolden back deep, along with Alfonso Smith. Bolden is the shallow back. Travis Boltz. Mr. Smith is deep. Yes. That's trouble. Three punts, 37 and a half yards per <laughs> punt. That is trouble. I like watching him work. I haven't seen that much of him today. No, we haven't. This is only the fourth punt for Travis Baltz. And Smith does not call for a fair catch. Oh, Bolden made an alert play not to oh, boy. not to block on the back, but Smith fell to the ground and actually added to the yardage of the punt. Foku forces him down. A 37-yard punt, a minus eight return, a net of 45 Great punting. Effort. He's a spark. Great effort. Maryland up 19 to nothing. We'll be right back. The finest leather boots are at Big Bill's Boots. Introducing the bigger, tastier chicken strips with our new Chick-fil-A sauce. My school. My sport. My United Way. 
This is where it all begins. This is what matters. The ACC and United Way. Building healthier communities. The Hyundai Santa Fe has impressive features, like room for seven, available all-wheel drive, and America's best warranty. But the most impressive feature of all, 24 miles per gallon. After all, what good is a crossover utility vehicle if you can't afford to drive it? Right now, get up to $3,500 cash back on a fuel-efficient 2008 Hyundai Santa Fe. See your local Hyundai dealer today for this and other outstanding values. For over 30 years, Sojourner Douglas College has served Maryland with a quality private education at a cost students can afford. With campuses in Baltimore, Annapolis, Prince George's County, Calvert County, Cambridge and Salisbury, Maryland, we bring opportunity to the community. This game brought to you in part by Nissan and your local Nissan dealer. First and ten, Wake Forest backed up to its own 13. Draw a handoff, Adams poking his way along the line of scrimmage, and even on an obvious passing play, when Adams runs, Maryland is there. It's out to the 15, Perez and Wojak in on the tackle. Yeah, the front seven wasn't fooled at all. This has probably been the least amount of that of orbit we've seen yes. doing, doing Wake. Well, everybody's seen it now, as we said. Everybody's kind of looking for it. Yeah, people see the spread too. They haven't solved that. Have there they? you go. Skinner to throw. Downfield has Williams. Oh, complete. But they say he was out of bounds when he caught it. He never got a chance to bring his feet down in bounds. Terrell Skinner with a huge play. Well, Skinner, again, I thought early on he was the best player on Maryland's defense. He oh. was injured, slow, but this is what he's capable of. That's a bolo hit there. I mean, that's what you dream of as a D back. He's still down. Yep. I hope it was just knocking the wind out of the the area of contact midsection could just be that I hope. There's Skinner and there's the Wake Forest player down that is Marshall Williams sophomore out of Durham North Carolina as Riley Skinner looks on. I saw him uh, against Delaware make a ton of plays playmaker. Yeah. And then since the injury. You know, I just have to see him make plays. Marshall Williams is okay. Trots over to the Wake sideline. After a visit by the Wake training staff. The Don score. Steelman led the way over there. The they, um, franchise. What happens is that it it allows them to run this zone and take shots at you because they're up on the scoreboard. Yeah. But Wake has got to do everything possible to try to get get on the board. Get an onside kick and speed this game up. Yep, seven minutes uh, left to play in this one. Skin of the throw. Pressure's on. He'll go down. Okay. Moses Foku comes in from that Sam linebacker spot and gets his fourth sack of the season. We got a Demon Deacon down. Big fella. Trey Bailey. Boy, he just runs through that. That's that's not going to get it done as a running back. You can't. You got in order to play. This is why a lot of young kids with great talent don't get on the, in the game because they can't pass protect. And Foku fell on the leg of Trey Bailey. It's a fourth sack of the day for the Maryland defense. And that's Bailey, the center. Chance range, a true freshman, would be next in line if Bailey isn't able to complete. So for the second play, straight play, Don Steelman is back out on the field. The training staff to look at the leg of Trey Bailey. Man, you just hope that's the brew. That is. Uh, well, part of this game. Looking at the right leg. And if you get any resistance by the back at all on Foku, try to bounce him out, you can avoid this. Yeah. But that was a perfect no hitter. Well, let's take a look at the Hampton Hotel's upcoming schedule here. Ralph Region and the Maryland Terrapins have a homestand going. They'll play three of their next four here at home. North Carolina State in next weekend. 
Then a Thursday matchup on, a, on November 6 at Virginia Tech. And then they have North Carolina in on the 15th. Florida State, the NC State and the Florida State games are especially big, and Boston College at the end because they are division games. Now for Wake Forest, the Demon Deacons also in the Atlantic Division. They're at Miami next week. That's an out of division game, as is their game at home with Duke. Then they have Virginia on the 8th and finish with two back to back games against division foes NC State on the road and uh, Boston College at home. Time out on the field attended the injury of Trey Bailey right now. The Maryland Terrapins in control with a little under seven to play up 19. Look at all this fresh seafood. It's the key to our newest creation, Risotto di Mare. Fresh clams, mussels, shrimp, and scallops. Fresh seafood's the most important part. And making the risotto rich and creamy. And it's these Italian spices that give this a little Carabas kick. I love a kick, Johnny. I know. I like all these combination of flavors that makes our risotto di mare an authentic Italian dish. At Carabas, good things happen around our table. The new ACC online store is the place to get all of your officially licensed ACC championship gear and team apparel. With a huge selection of top brands, the new ACC online store is where you'll find jerseys, t-shirts, hats, official sideline apparel, and more. The new ACC online store is where ACC fans get everything they need. Nissan set out to create the perfect on-road vehicle and in the process created a category. Introducing two crossover leaders from Nissan, the redesigned Murano, awarded as an IIHS top safety pick, and the versatile Rogue, named 2008's best new small crossover. Lease the 27 MPG Nissan Rogue, just $199 a month. Don't follow the leader, own one at your Nissan dealer now. Well, this is Shane Poplin's biggest challenge of the day, kicking from his own end zone on fourth down and try to keep from disaster striking here. He's got to get it away, and Maryland's going to get good field position. Danny Okendo back to get the punt. Maryland up 19 0, 6.53 left to go in his fourth and final quarter. Good kick by Poplin. Taken by Akendo in a fair catch. And they back him back to the 43-yard line. A 48-yard punt, punt with no return. Our Chick-fil-A nugget of the game. Well, with wins over California and Clemson, Maryland is one of only five teams nationally to defeat two ranked teams this season. Despite that, the Terrapins remain unranked. Here are the other teams who've done that. Alabama defeating Clemson and Georgia. Southern Cal. Conquest of Ohio State and Oregon. Vanderbilt. South Carolina and Auburn and East Carolina started the season out on a roll beating Virginia Tech and West Virginia. Ralph ought to create some propaganda and make his next opponent like top five. <laughs> First and ten. Handoff now to Meggett. Gavin Meggett turns the corner flag down on the play. Curry drives him out of bounds. Could be a face mask. I'll tell you what. Maryland came off the ball, and so did Wake. I mean, they, they are tough to turn the corner on, but there was fighting going on on that one. Some debris over, and this is a hold. It'll be a hold against Maryland. It'll call this play back. So big break for the Wake Forest Demon Deacons as the field position is thwarted some back, somewhat back to the 38. Holy, Holy. number eight, offense. That's a 10-yard penalty. We're replaying the down. What well, Haywood Bay with the call, I like my receivers to block. You want them blocking. Let's see. This is all out of bounds, and somebody's about to get crushed. Oh, that's coach. That's coach. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, the chair. Man, you got to protect yourself on the sidelines. Man, that's selling out. Thank goodness the chair was there. Yeah, it held him up. First and a mile and a half now for Maryland, and a handoff to make it again. And he fights his way to the 40. Actually, 41 carries. It's a first and 20 call. It's a real good football team. You don't want to get the ball back. You know, no. you want to have the ability 
to let the air out of the tire and hog the ball. And this is what Maryland did against Clemson. They got the ball back with 552 left to play, having taken the lead. Yep. And Tommy Bowden couldn't find a curtains. way to call the timeout. Curtains. Yep, it was over. They never got the ball back. But they've not been able to run inside. And they've been able to get on the crease, get on the edge, and run well. But they have not been able to run right in the heart of this defense. And of course, Maryland has gone against ranked opponents four straight times and come up a winner to this season. And they could very well conquer their third ranked team today. Here's Megat straight ahead. And David Megat gets to the 50 yard line. He's still four yards shy of a first down, but. Pretty good game, Aaron Curry on the tackle. Yeah, that's getting it done there. Ten yeah. yard gain. You know, he's shown he's got great forward lean. That time they ran on that left side where Donis has been doing a pretty good job for Turks. Our Polaris Ranger hardest working player of the game is Chris Turner. 27 completions in his 40 attempts, 271 yards. He's just kept the ball out of Wake's hands through the air this afternoon. Well, nomination for baller of the week, no doubt about it. Open backfield for him here on third and four. Maryland up 19 nothing open backfield Turner looking. That's a snap from Williams and he's on his way pass downfield to Gronkowski. No, it's a Kendall complete in Lake Forest territory one man to beat he's headed for the end zone touchdown. A 50 yard touchdown by Danny Kendall. Week after week, we watch Akendo make plays. Offensive line gave time. Turner now is showing off. Now he's just flat out showing off. It got to feel good. Under pressure. Throws it on the back hip. Then you get the spin. Now show me what you got for me. See, this is what I like. A guy with high expectations. Shaking and baking, getting in the end zone. Danny Akendo with the touchdown reception. Here comes Obi Egekeza. Pull the point after, and it is good. And the Terrapins may have just slammed the door shut on the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Chris Turner's first touchdown pass of the day. Well, they pick up inside the inside slant. That's a good job up front, or it doesn't happen. You got to give credit out there to the offensive line. Once again, Burley, who we talked about playing over to that right side of the tackle, Jack Griffin been on that line. They got a lot of use out of some big ones up front, but this is all a Kendo. Watch him. Gets a little help there. At the end, but that's balling. Chris Turner. That's a Kendo's first touchdown pass of the season. You know, he's got 133 yards and 12 completions. He's done a great job this year of getting Maryland in close. Somebody yeah. else has carried it in. And the game against Clemson, we look at it again. Yeah. He was the one who set it up with a pass reception inside the 10, and then Darrell Scott took in the deciding score. Four Confidence. plays, 56 yards. A Kendall, the 50-yard aerial from Turner. Turner has it. He just oozing in confidence now. Tyler came in. It was Ronnie Tyler with the block. But you know, you can have all the slogans and logos you want. But you've got to be able to crush people when you're better than they are. And that's what Maryland has not been able to prove they can do. Well, all the slogans yeah. do not bring back no. the game against Virginia. Not at all. You've got to go out, man, with a bad attitude and finish people off. C.J. Washington is back there along with Devon Brown. And on the pop, it's going to be Washington. He is plowed under at the 24-yard line. Coming up next week, we'll take you to Chapel Hill, our first visit to Keenan Stadium this season. The Boston College uh -huh. Eagles are there, and this ought to be a good one. No matter what happens with those two teams today, both in action, we'll see a great defense from Boston College and an offense from North Carolina that had to put some different pieces together. But some new heroes have emerged for the Tar Heels, and we'll see it all at 12 noon from Chapel Hill. Two great defensive line outfits. That's going to be fun. Brett Hodges is in the ball game now. Riley Skinner calls it a day. Pendergrass goes down for a loss. And it looks like the Wake Forest Demon Deacons are kind of chalking this one up and wait for another day. Rick Costa makes the tackle. Total offense tells the story. Demon Deacons had 52 yards on their last drive. Otherwise, those numbers would look a lot worse. Maryland closes in on 500 yards total offense today. Again, and they're capable of it and really didn't run the ball as well as they wanted to run it. But they were so proficient in the air. But this is this shouldn't surprise anyone. Okay. Matter of fact, I ought to make him make you angry if you're a Terrapin fan. Second down and 14. Hodges, also from Florida, is a junior. 
Brown now nowhere to run. So this week, this Maryland defense has been tremendous, and they are just three and 38 away from pitching a shutout. Today's game is brought to you in part by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Russell Neenan moves to the center spot for the injured Trey Bailey. Tough day for Riley Skinner. And it was more a, a, a situation of Maryland's defense than his inactivity. I'd agree, because he, he competed. Yeah, he did. Pass upfield. Almost complete. He had as many drops today as I've seen a wake team in the games that we've done. A pass intended for Cameron Ford. We've never seen Wake Forest punt this much. No. In all our years. I mean, this is big. These are a lot of firsts. This is going to be the ninth for Shane Popham, who gets some valuable experience. And put aside that 17 yard punt, and he's done pretty well. Eight punts, 36 6 average. No Sam Swank today. That played a factor. And, and then you look back. Without a Sam Swank to verify the two turnovers you received from Maryland in yep. the short field. What That's does what that hurt. do? Well, that hurt. Popham gets a nice high kick. Fair catch called for by Akendo. It's at the 41 yard line with three minutes left to play. Last time Demon Deacons were shut out 10 years ago. They were shut out by Air Force 42 to nothing. They are headed for the same fate this afternoon and a fate that will shake up the Atlantic Division race and make the road to Tampa. A little more difficult for the Deacons and a little more hopeful for the Maryland Terror. But it's still there for everyone. It is. That's the beauty of this. Th this boy. will be only their first loss. That's right. This month is going to be a lot of shakeups in ACC football. Josh Portis is at quarterback now. Portis with the play fake. Nobody believes he's going to throw the football. Even though they know he can run, they can't stop it. He's got nine That's amazing. Yards. That's amazing. Georgia Tech leading Clemson. That's the fight back. Yeah. Georgia leading Vanderbilt. Texas Tech and Texas A&M having a Donnie Brook the Big 12. South Florida having their way. Utah and Colorado State. Connecticut coming back. Yeah. Purdue will not come back. No. Not today. Nope. Second down and one with 2.28 left to go. Clock rolling. And Maryland approaching a big victory here against their third ranked opponent of the season. And Portis on the carry loses five. Yeah, and that's what I would expect him to do. If you run the ball that often, I don't, I'm surprised he's able to get anything. This time Jonathan Jones pursues him in the backfield and flattens him. That brings up third down and about five. But the celebration is two minutes away here at Maryland as the Demon Deacons have been handed a blow here today. And Maryland has wanted to hand it to them for the last two years. They remember last year when they were up 24 to 3, end up losing in overtime 30-24. No such luck for Wake today. It's going to be Maryland. Question is, will they shut them out? Portis. To the corner. And then some white shirts and brings it to a yard shy of midfield for a game of two. Alex Fry on the tackle. Wake will not attempt to stop this clock. They understand that the terms of battle have been decided. Yeah. And that's what I uh, hope that's what Maryland wants to do. But Portis has a has a terrific arm. Yes. For those of you in question, I mean <laughs> you gotta think at this point, can he? Yes, he can. Yeah. I watch him specifically every pre-game warm-up. Guy's got a gun, but they never seem to let him take it out the holster. Travis Baltz comes out there. Top 25 in the country. ACC starting to get some representation in here. Virginia Tech, North Carolina, Wake Forest. Now, can Maryland move up in there? They've beaten California this season. Will Georgia Tech, if they prevail over Clemson, move into this group? I can't imagine. You know, the thing that bothers me, I guess, most of the, more than anything, is that a Clemson starts the season at nine, loses to Alabama, and drops totally out. Whereas a Georgia gets embarrassed on its home field by Alabama, and they don't drop out. You know, they go from like two down to ten. I uh, think you know the answer to the question. Well, I, I think that ACC football is maybe a little bit better than than the pollsters think. Right. Well, uh, and, and, I, and and you look at Virginia Tech right there at 17. North Carolina, if they win. Uh, against Virginia this afternoon, that won't be easy. You got a lot of ACC teams that are, are on the 
cusp of being bowl eligible here. At the end of it, I think you're going to get exactly what you want. Yeah. There are a lot of teams in the ACC that are developing, and their quarterbacks are, 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 are coming of age. But defensively, uh, I think it's going to happen. But I, I, there's no King Kong. No. And that's the problem. That's right. There's no team that you gravitate to like a Texas. Or and know that they're going to win. Yeah. You have no idea. I kind of like it. Uh, I do too. <laughs> I, I just wish that the ACC could get more respect for us. Well, then they got to earn it. Yep. Then you got to you got to beat a ranked team and come back the next week and crush a team that you're better than. Yeah. Exactly. And if you want, nobody gives this stuff away. The talking is not going to get any of it done. Well, you know, I mean, I go. I I say again, Maryland has qualified with the exception of the Virginia loss. They went to Cal. They played Cal here, beat them. Yeah. Crossed Eastern Michigan, then went to Clemson and won. What did and I say? That doesn't get you ranked at that point. Propaganda. Then. Go put the diamond back up and go tell them that the next week's opponent's second rank in the country. There you go. They may beat them. All right. Wake Forest has the ball after the punt at their own 13 yard line. Brett Hodge is still in there, and the give is to Josh Adams. and. Wake content to just run the clock out. They know that they were not the better team on the field today. It was Maryland from top to bottom, from start to finish. Good team win for the Toes. Yes, but huge team win. If you follow Maryland, you shouldn't be surprised at all. When well, you're going to have to hold your breath, will be against NC State. Exactly. See, and that's what exactly. these kids have got to get beyond. Last play of this football game now. Hodges will take it. He'll throw to Adams on the sideline. One man to beat. They don't want and to that that be, Yeah, Jamari McCullough goes out of bounds with three seconds left into the first down. And Wake will get one more play. And of course, for Ralph Friedgen, this is a this is a big win. His program has come under fire lately for the reason that you just suggest to beat a ranked team and then lose to a Virginia and not even score. Uh, it's had some people chirping out there. Yeah. Well, fans have the right to do it, but if you play against them, you recognize they're a good football team. They ask Wake Forest. Yeah, they're a good football team. They understand it today. They're just not greedy. As the Maryland Terrapins get it done in an efficient manner, they did it really led by their defense all afternoon. They came up big and held Wake Forest scoreless this afternoon and held their total offense to just around the 200 mark. So Ralph Region. And uh, Jim Grove meet at midfield, and our Mike Hogwood is standing by with the winning coach, Coach Friedman. Ralph, I'll tell you what, Virginia game, you had the week off this. You've got to be proud of what your guys have done. Uh, I've got great kids. Uh, they give me everything they got. Some days we don't come to play, but when we do come to play, we're pretty good. We got five games to go right now. We got to play every week. Your quarterback, Chris Turner, looked like he was in charge today. Yeah, he's been playing well for us the whole year. And uh, you got some other guys around to make some plays. I thought our defense played great. You know, our special teams was good. It was, we finally put a whole game together, I thought. What a way to start, though, the second half. This ties you now with first place in the division. And uh, this road to Tampa Bay, Maryland's going to be a factor in it. I hope so. That's our goal. We want to be there very badly. All right. Ralph, congratulations. Yeah, thanks, man. All right. Thank you very much, Mike Hogwood and Coach Ralph Region. Yes, you've got some teams that are on the cusp of bowl eligibility, and Maryland has just joined that group with their fifth win as they go four, five, and two. Our players of the game brought to you by Principal Financial. They are Stanley Arnoux, 12 tackles and a forced fumble for Wake Forest. For the Maryland Terrapins, Darius Haywood Bay. We knew he'd be a weapon, Doc. He got two of the first three plays of the game. 11 receptions on the day. He came in with 12 on the season, 101 yards and a touchdown. That one not from Chris Turner. It was from Terrell Scott in the first quarter. But he was a weapon that Wake had to honor. And as you can see by that yardage down there, they didn't do a very good job of keeping him at bay. No pun intended. Yeah, no, and I thought Chris Turner had the best game I've seen him play. Under pressure, he made great throws, and he just really played his tail off. No doubt about it. It's the Maryland Terrapins defeating the Wake Forest Demon Deacons 26 to nothing. Let's go back to the field and Mike Hogwood. Well, Chris Turner, great game. You know, we said this, there weren't a lot of positives come out of the Virginia game, but you took a lot of hits. You proved to guys your toughness, and then you came out here today 
What was practice like last week? Uh, practice all week was very up tempo, very intense. Um, you know, we had we had a different mindset going into this game. We knew what we were capable of, and you know, we, we wanted to pass the ball. And we did we did a pretty good job with that. You got your buddy over here involved. 11 catches today for Darius Hayward Bay. You were going for number eight, weren't you? We were. I mean, it's. There's, there's no excuse for not giving him the ball the, the past couple games. Um, so coming into the game, one of the things we wanted to feature was Darius. Uh, he did a great job today. He, he showed what he was all about. You look comfortable out there today. Were you comfortable? I was very comfortable, and that's all because of my old line. They did a great job up front. Uh, I didn't wait any sacks, a few knockdowns. Other than that, you know, I was standing back there pretty. All right, Chris, congratulations. Great game. And the guy you're watching right now, Darius Hayward Bay, is here with me. Darius, congratulations. 11 catches and a touchdown today. Oh yeah, it was, uh, it was a great game for me and my teammates. Uh, we went out here, we executed, we did what we had to do to win. You know, I, have you been frustrated? Has there been games where you really haven't gotten the ball? I haven't been frustrated. You know, I'm frustrated when we lose. The Virginia game was frustrating because we lost. Uh, I feel for my teammates and my coaches, but um, you know, I kept my cool, worked hard during the week, and it came out and showed today. How bag, big was that pass from Darrell Scott to get things going today? Oh, it was big. You know, he threw it up high, went up there and, and got it. You know, got us going and it got the team fired up. So I was happy, you know, Darrell threw a pretty good ball. Hey, I noticed you tweaked your ankle a little bit there in the fourth quarter. You okay? Yeah, I'm good to go. I'll be ready to go next week. What does this mean for this team now? Two and one, tied for first place in the Atlantic Division. It means a lot. You know, we're going to celebrate tonight and tomorrow, Monday, get back to work and get ready for SC State. All right, Darius Hayward Bay, congratulations. Great game, and uh, we'll let you head to the locker room with your teammates. Steve? Thank you very much, Mike Hogwood. Of course, uh, Maryland now joins Florida State at 2-1 and one and Wake Forest at 2-1. and one. And here's that pass we talked about, Darrell Scott for Darius Hayward Bay. Boy, he went up and got it. And that's the key against strong opposition. And where no one else could roam, Darius Hayward Bay has done that often in his career. The Maryland Terrapins shut out the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, 26-0. ACC football has been brought to you by Progress Energy, by Carabas Italian Grill, by Hyundai, by Hampton Hotel, and by the new AT&T. We are back at College Park, Chevy Chase. Field, every Chase Bank Field at Bird Stadium. Highlights of today's game. Let's take a look. Early on, of course, uh, Darrell Scott had a case of the fumbles. Edwin Williams would pick this up, and that set up the next play of the game. Well, it did. And he got the ball back in his hands, through the Haywood Bay, climbed the ladder, made the catch. And the and Turtles won the board. That's right, 7 0. Wake Forest tried twice on two fumbles to get the ball in. This first field goal attempt by Shane Popham from 41 yards didn't go. On the next possession, there is a whole problem there, and he pulled it to the left. Yeah, killed the momentum. It really did suck the air out of the life of the Demon Deacons. How about Obi Egakeza? Not once, but twice, and actually four times on the day. That one partially deflected. He keeps on kicking, and uh, he got a 40-yarder, a season-long 40-yarder, and then that squibber from 26 yards. And the defense of Maryland all afternoon, Jeremy Navarre was outstanding. Navarre had a game, Foku had a game, Philistine. All the usual suspect, and Okano does the magic on this one. Good throw for Turner, great run by Danny. Touchdown again for the Turtles. And that put it away for the Maryland Terrapins. So we take a look at the final stats of this game. Total domination, especially defensively. 470 total yards to 219, and the two turnovers didn't hurt him a bit. Uh, we had that great stat before the game, and you said it, that uh, when the Demon Deacons don't throw an interception to 15-1, and one, well, that's changed now. Yeah, it's 15-2 and two because Skinner did all he could, but their lack of being able to get anything on the ground, 73 yards as opposed to their average of 99, that's second worst in the ACC, it did not help them today. Maryland, a 26-0 winner, back after this word from your local ACC station. Clubbing, cruising, shopping, sailing, happiness is just beginning. Building, biking, four by fouring, all of it is so alluring. Camping, skiing, fishing, rowing, possibilities never ending. Get up to 47.50 cash back or choose 0% for 60 months on the Fuel Efficient Edge, Ranger, or Escape, reducing your payment up to $100 a month so you can do more. Running, golfing, climbing, rafting. 
For many men, an interview suit is a first step toward a second chance. Donate your gently used professional clothing during the Men's Warehouse National Suit Drive and receive a 10% discount toward your next purchase. I guarantee it. If you're struggling with addiction and the 12 steps aren't for you, there is another answer. Bel Air Center for Addictions offers confidential addiction treatment in the privacy of a doctor's office. After Congress passed the bailout, Frank Cradiville declared, we solved the crisis. We solved the crisis? Tell that to the people who are losing their jobs. We solved the crisis? Tell that to the people worried about their mortgage, seeing their retirement savings disappear, or struggling to pay for their kids' college. Frank Cradiville says we solved the crisis. Cradiville's clueless, liberal, and very wrong. I'm Andy Harris, and I approve this message. WJZ exclusive, the Ravens at the Dolphins Sunday. Next Saturday, Raycom Sports takes you to Chapel Hill, North Carolina for a battle between the Boston College Eagles led by Chris Crane and a powerful defense and the North Carolina Tar Heels. One of the better defenses in the land in terms of takeaway margin in the country. They'll meet in the gridiron of Keenan Stadium and we'll have it for you 12 noon next Saturday right here from Raycom Sports. A final score from College Park. It's Maryland defeating Wake Forest 26 to nothing. A shutout of the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, ranked 21st in the country. It's the third win for the Maryland Terrapins over a ranked opponent this year. And it's just old hat for Maryland. Maryland, the better the opponent, the better the Terrapins perform. And that'd be fine if they wouldn't drop off the lesser opponents. But this was all about defense today. And that defensive line, Coach Salazzo's group, they went like madmen. And you go all the way across the board from linebacker to linebacker, and they had moments of dominance. Of course, one of the areas of focus for Maryland in the two off weeks that they had following their loss to Virginia was the play of their offensive line. And, Doc, they made some moves there, and it worked out for them. 478 yards, that doesn't lie. It really did. They put Adonis over at left tackle. And, you know, we watched this kid. He's like, look, look like he's. 7'5", he's about Bruce 400 Campbell. pounds, Bruce Campbell, and he did a great job. He's got good feet, he's strong as an ox, and I think it really neutralized him. Costas, I thought, played extremely well at the right guard spot. And everybody was giving it, and they're going up against Wake, who I have the utmost respect for. They battled, but it was Haywood Bay and his quarterback, Turner, who made the difference. They certainly did, and of course, the win has a definite impact on the Atlantic Division standings right now, and it puts Maryland right back into the thick of things. Florida State leads the way at 2-1, and one, and we put them on top with good reason because they have games remaining with both Maryland and Wake Forest, and Florida State, I thought Thursday night, looked pretty good against NC State. No doubt about it. Everybody there can control their destiny, and if you look, Boston College today with Virginia Tech's going to be a war. You can't wait. I can't wait to watch that tonight. So it's just a matter of you can't come in flat now. you got to the stretch run the next four weeks, bring your A game. Well, Ralph Regan told us yesterday, it's a second season now. Whoever has the best record among the next six is going to emerge and get themselves to Tampa Bay. And, you know, if you look at the defensive development, you go, what is Maryland? Where were they short at? Well, kicking, they were exceptional today. Defensive line played, offensive line played well. Uh, back, they, threw the, they turned the ball over three times. That's the only negative. Take that away, this might have been really ugly. Oh, definitely. And, of course, got games coming up, North Carolina and Virginia in league play. And, of course, the game that you mentioned, Virginia Tech and Boston That's College. Good one tonight. So these are, these are, this is a big, big day in the ACC. It started Thursday night with Florida State's win. This is a huge game as far as the Atlantic Division and the ACC standings are concerned. And we've got, still got two more to come that are worth watching. Definitely. Yeah, you know, if the team stays he the healthiest and plays the best defense, because defense is the key. You got to keep people off the board, and then you got to come up with some playmakers. And Okendo today came up really big for the Maryland Terrapins. I thought they had the best production from the tight end position in terms of reception. Gronkowski had a couple of chain moving catches uh, that kept drives alive for the Maryland Terrapins this afternoon. Well, we've got more to come from College Park. A final word from Bird Stadium after this Maryland win over Wake Forest. It took me years to build good credit, but only a few minutes for someone to steal my identity and ruin it. With Wachovia, dedicated fraud specialists will work with you one-on-one -on -one to reclaim your identity, recoup your losses, and reestablish your financial reputation. Thankfully, there are people who care about my name as much as I do. I'm with Wachovia. Rated number one in satisfying customers, Wachovia.
strength is power. Introducing the all-new TL, the most powerful Acura ever built. Well, as Ralph Regan said, it was a total team effort for the Maryland Terrapins today, Doc. They win it 26 to nothing. Great contributions from the defense. And what can you say about Chris Turner today? Turner, exceptional. Corey Jackson, the fullback, was a beast. And Megan, that young kid, that freshman, he gave them a lot of mileage when they needed it early on. Well, they were doubting whether or not Darrell Scott would handle on to the football, and he came in and solidified things that allowed Maryland to coast by. Edgar Keza gets four field goals to add to the total, and the Maryland Terrapins come off with a 26 to nothing win over Wake Forest. Many thanks to the crew who brought us our game, especially up here in the booth. Our stage manager, Joey Delpo, our statistician, Paul Evans, Steve Sandler helping him out, and Angie Littlejohn, our uh, spotter who is outstanding. Coming Next week, it's going to be North Carolina taking on Boston College at high noon on Saturday. Uh, for Mike Hogwood and Rick Doc Walker, I'm Steve Martin reminding you that you've been watching exclusive coverage of Atlantic Coast Conference football from Raycom Sports. Maryland with a big win over Wake. The Chrysler Jeep and Dodge Sellathon is on, and the clock is ticking. Move it. We're moving out the 08s to make room for the 09s. Now through October 31st, get huge cash allowances or generous financing options on select Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge vehicles. Like 0% financing for 72 months on Dodge Ram 1500. Or get 6,000 in cash allowance on Chrysler 300C. The Salathon is on at your local dealer, so hurry in before time runs out. I'm Vicki Cox from Provident Bank with a financial tip for these challenging times. How do I know if my bank is financially sound? Well, the vast majority of banks in this country are safe and sound, according to the FDIC. You can also do your own checkup on the health of your bank. Just click on FDIC.gov for a list of companies that provide safety ratings for banks. Remember, your bank deposits remain safe, protected, and insured by the FDIC. No customer has ever lost a penny in insured deposits. I ever go to the roller rink back in the 70s? Roller disco back then. Rocking the leisure seat? Watch yourself now. <laughs> she was the queen of the rank. You are one foxy little thing. But the rest of her life, any idea how young these girls are? I am not going anywhere with you. Was spinning out of control. Oh my God. I was the DJ. You had your share of underage creepies. I'm a lover, not a killer, baby. I can't decide if you're too old for me to feed you. A new cold case, CBS Sunday. You got the line? I got the line. You got the line? We got the line. Injured in an auto accident or by medical...